piano playing has really come in handy for band practice too. All right. Which, so by the way, I think been... I think that we had not had audio until just now. So we're gonna have to go kind of from the top. Yay. Thanks everyone for hanging in there and uh, and waiting for us to get it together. Oh, that's that's crazy. Did you um, did you get a text from somebody? Told yeah, you? Andrew. Andrew just texted me. Way to go, Andrew. For real. Yeah. Yep, yep. Save, so save the, the day. day. Yeah, all right, on the ball, always. You didn't Love know it. this was just a lip reading exercise. That's what we were doing. <laughs> <laughs> so Finn, nobody heard anything that you said about your experience of bandage. Um, oh yeah, <laughs> definitely. So, so, so I was him. muted that whole time. Well, we got a chance oh. to set him straight, and we got him paid. So now he should he should be saying the right things. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Tell us about, uh, tell us about like what you enjoy about your lessons with Andy and Bandy. What I enjoy about it is it's just sort of a time that I can go and sort of check in on progress and learning and maybe learn new parts of song, stuff like that. It's just really helpful and awesome. That sounds like with the check-in, that sounds like a guy who's, who's practicing, who's actually doing it. I have been practicing a bit recently. All right. I'm so glad to hear that. that. Right on, man. And um, and tell us again, since we were muted, uh, what the song that we're going to see on your video is and why you chose that. Frankenstein by Edgar Winter, because it sounds cool and is just sort of really, it's a good song. And I feel like. It isn't the hardest to play, but it's not the easiest to play and a good one for where my skill level is at. All right. Well, shall we roll it? Roll it. Here we go. <laughs> Such a groovy tune. And Finn, that was a great job, man. That was the, uh, I listened to a little bit of it last night as I was putting all this together, but that was the first time I listened all the way through to that particular performance. Great job, man. Awesome. So Finn is also in a band called Backyard Raccoons, which I teach. And we have a video lined up uh, of them. So Finn, do you want to uh, explain your part? Of sure. The band? Okay, so usually in the band, I am the drummer, but recently the band has been sort of just exploring with going on different things. Usually I am the drummer, Lily is the keyboard slash singer, and uh, Bethany usually will play guitar, unless at the moment we have a guitar player, which we don't at the moment, uh, and this is a... We're calling out for guitar players. Yes, oh, to you guitar players, happening. please. Okay, so uh, what are, pretty what are much. Your guitar player requirements, Finn, so they know what you're looking for. You got be decent. <laughs> like, like skill wise, or just their personality. 
Both. Both. Good answer. Great answer. Personality <laughs> is a big part to music. Really. It is. You got to get I along feel. in the van, right? Yep. It's a bad time and when you're on the road figuring out that, you know, your lead <laughs> singer snores. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it's a really... Uh, it's a really awesome experience in the band also. And recently, uh, I have been, since I've been getting more into keyboard, I, we tried for the song, we're playing me on keyboard and Lily playing bass and singing and Bethany on guitar. And I feel like it. Hey, you got, you kind of yeah. glitched out just right there, Finn. We heard you kind of feel like, and then we lost you. What, what did you say? Uh, I kind of feel like that it, it just turned out really well. So, I agree. I think you guys have been. It's super... a it's a good song. It's a good. I feel like we took a bunch of tries to get it the best we could, and it sounds pretty good. So, mm. cool. Yeah. Well, I can't wait to hear it. Can I? Can I roll the clip? Sure. Yeah, I was waiting to see if we could get Lily in here to maybe give an introduction, but I do not see her. I'm not hearing from the green room. Oh. So. She hasn't popped up in Lily, the green room. We She's love you, Lily. Today. And we're happy that Finn was able to speak on your behalf. Let's roll the clip. Here we go. Thank you. 
All right. Welcome back. That was a great video. It that was. It was so fun. It looked like you got Nick Manka to play drums on that one, too. That's right. Yeah, he's my automatic fill-in drummer. <laughs> you're a good one. That's mm -hmm. great. We have Sabine with us right now. How are you doing, Sabine? Good. Yeah. So Sabine is my guitar student. We have just mm -hmm. a slew of my students coming on here. So um, Sabine, why don't you tell everyone what song you're playing today? Um, Fly Away by Lenny Kravitz, I think is his name. <laughs> yep, that's right. Nice. Okay. So um, can you tell everyone how we ended up landing on this song? I didn't know what song to choose, so you just chose it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> there it is, yeah. Uh speaking it's the a truth. Familiar story. <laughs> yeah, yep. warts and all. <laughs> <laughs> well, the yeah. reason why we we landed on this one though is because we're we've been working a lot on power chords and this is the perfect song to practice power chords on. So I think you've been doing a great job with that. And I'm super proud of you and I'm excited to show the video. Thank you. Yeah. Great. Anything you want to say to your fans before we show the <laughs> clip? What? <laughs> they just enjoy it. <laughs> just enjoy it. Right, roll the clip. Fly away by Lenny Kravitz. Okay. Yay! Yeah. Good job, Sabine. By the way, um, Sabine's birthday is coming up. She's going to be 10. And so I figured we could have a little happy birthday song just for her. So here we go. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Sabine. Happy birthday to you. And many more. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Happy birthday, Sabine. Let's see, I've got Marcel here. We're going to bring in, see what's going on with Marcel Casada. Marcel, are you there? Can you turn on your video and your audio? There we go. Hey. Hi. What's happening? Um, not much. Yeah, <laughs> just chilling at home. Yep. I like your decorations behind you. That's old school. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that brings me back. Oh man, I, right? I'm, I haven't made a like a construction paper chain like that in a long time. Did you make that one? Um, uh, my sister started it, but then she had to do school, so then I finished it. Nice. Nice. Doing school. Mm -hmm. How is doing school online for you? Um, it's not bad, but it's not that great. <laughs> yeah, it's a different kind of challenge, isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you doing your lessons with Jeff in person, or are you doing those online right now? Um, that's on Zoom. That's on Zoom too. How's that going? It's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. What would you say is your favorite part about lessons with Jeff? Um, it's kind of relieving because it's on a Friday. So after school, it's kind of like, yay. 
All right. And do you want to tell us something about the song that you're performing here on the video? Um, it's called Awesome Adventure. And we were going to choose between that one and two others. But I like this one the most. So this is the one I'm doing. Right on. Would you like to uh, cue it off by saying, roll the clip? Uh, roll the clip. Hi, I'm Marcel, and I'm going to be performing Awesome Adventure. y'all we have we yeah. have right. that was great marcel very cool i love the camera work too moving in close on the hands and yeah good job fam that's an industry music industry family they know what's up uh so we've got Sai and nia barack with us right now and i see the top of Sai's head Sai, can you unmute yourself there's Nia's Oh, hey, Nia. Hey, y'all. What's happening? <laughs> you might want to mute YouTube if you're watching the show on another yeah. device. Do okay. That. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> How are you two? I'm actually watching it on the same device, so that's... it's. Oh, cool. yeah. You're going to need to turn off the live stream so yeah. you can communicate I with us. It. That's yeah. like showcase inception. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So uh, welcome. How how are you, Sai? We can only see you, so we'll talk to you first. How are you? Um, I'm doing fine. Um, but even though I have to stay at home during the holidays, mm. and mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, it's a tricky part of uh, living in 2020, isn't it? Yeah. How are you managing? Um, I'm managing good, especially when I got this uh, news of somebody getting vaccinated. Woohoo! Mm -hmm. That is great news. Yeah, we're keeping our fingers crossed for that, for sure. So, Sai, I think we have a video from you, and then we also have a video from Nia. So, um, uh, Sai, how about you tell us about your video first. We'll roll that clip and then Nia will interview you about yours. Sai, you want to set this one up for us? Um, well, it's basically um, The Chain by Fleetwood Mac. Nice. Ooh. I'm playing Good it choice. on the drum. Cool. Very cool. And why did you choose this song? What do you like about it? Well, I kind of got inspiration from my teacher, Charlie, to choose it. Okay. And uh, what's your favorite part about it? Uh, my favorite part about it is probably the, um, well, the parts um, after the, the regular drum beat. You'll see when you watch the video. Okay. All right, cool. I love that you chose the word inspiration from Charlie, because that's how it works, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Nice. All right. You want to say roll the clip? Okay. Roll the clip. Um, I am Sai and I am doing the chain by Fleetwood Mac. <laughs>
Great job, tune. Si. Great tune. Great tune. Cy Barak. We will be back with Cy's sister Nia when she comes back in. I see she's back in the waiting room. For now, we've got our good friend and great artist Lily Crowley. Say hi, Lily. Hey, <laughs> we we can't hear you. Are you muted or? We can see your lips moving. <laughs> okay, I think we can hear you now. Getting a little no. bit. Yes. There you go. All right. Great. How are you today? Good. How are you guys? Good. Doing well. Did you, did you get a chance to see your band video yeah, on the I live stream? Sorry, I was trying to get on, but we were having technical difficulties. So. It's okay. What did you think about it? Is there any comments you want to make about it? Um, I was really happy about how it turned out. Yay! You did a great job. It was really good too. Yeah, nice. <laughs> uh, so, sorry, take it away, Bethany. Okay, so I was just gonna say, um, I chose Lily, or I nominated Lily as one of our student spotlights. So I just want to take a moment to brag on you, and just talk about your great personality. And, um, you know, every time you come in to lessons, Lily, you have just a great spirit and uh, uh, an infectious personality. Um, you can be silly sometimes, but you can also be serious and you're always dedicated. And I'm just super proud of you. And uh, I'm really excited to see how you progress in the future as a musician. So. Good job. <laughs> yeah. All right. So Lily, do you want to set up this song that we're going to play of your solo performance? Uh, yeah. So I have two songs. I play bass and I play and I sing. So I have a bass song, which I'm playing. Um, sorry, that I play. I'm playing part of that thing you do by The Wonders. It's like a song from the movie. The movie's really good, but the song is also really good. So I'm playing that on the bass. And then I'm also playing Dancing in the Moonlight by Top Loaders on uh, watching. Nice. All right. All right. Is it time to roll the clip? It is time to roll the clip. <laughs> Oh, 
such, such a, a cool song. song. Man, I used to have that song on eight track tape. Okay, that tells people a little bit about how old I am. But Dancing in the Moonlight, man, love that song. I had it on eight track. I remember listening in my boat. <laughs> What a cool song. So good to hear that again. So Lily's going to hang out with us a little bit because her second video, we're doing some work on that. But we've got Nia back. How you doing, Nia? Can you unmute yourself? And we'll have a little chat. Okay, I see you changed your name. Hey, how are you? Um, I'm fine. Yeah, you're usually very chatty, so you, this might be a new experience for you, huh? Do you want to tell us about what's your favorite part about uh, taking lessons at Bandit? Um, it's um, very fun. You get to learn a lot, and that's pretty much it. Yeah. yeah. That's it. Okay. So, yeah. It's fun, and you get to learn a lot. So, Nia, sometimes during our lessons, you ask about who owns Band-Aid, and now you know. This is the guy, this is James Mays. So here he is, I, but you've met James before, so. <laughs> he has a dog. Right. He has a dog, Very, yeah. Very important detail. He has yeah. a yellow dog. That's right, that's right. <laughs> Nia and I go way back with Treasure. Mm -hmm. So Nia, uh, would you tell us about the song, the video that you're gonna play? And then say, roll the clip. OK, it's it's called Rumble. And um, it's very cool. I picked it because um, it's it's very cool. And it, it only involves, um, it, we lost it only involves four chords. So that make, mm -hmm. makes it easy and hard. I don't know which one. Mm -hmm. So. Um, and it's very easy to play, but not, but not with um, not with a drummer that always goes to the beat, and it's a little louder than me because then it's a little confusing. <laughs> but you did a great job, though. It's rock and roll. And, and just so you know, bef be um, before I start the video, I'm going. I'm uh, just so you know, a warning. It might look like I have pink hair. <laughs> I'll consider myself right. warned. We like uh, that. Yeah, it's just a light. Oh, cool. <laughs> All right, roll the clip. Roll the Thanks clip. <laughs>
All Yay. right. Good job, Mia. <laughs> Andy, you had some you had some What's words about that name? song. Yeah, you want to tell us? Yeah, yeah. The uh, Rumble is yeah. the yeah, only um, instrumental song to have been banned because it was just so rock and roll. They were uh, they were afraid that you know Link Ray was going to be uh, inciting riots, or I don't know what they were afraid of, but it was just so rock. Even though it was there's no lyrics, it just had has so much attitude that they banned it. Too much gain. That's wild. <laughs> Much gain, mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, we've got Kai now with us. Hey, Kai, can you unmute yourself and say hello? Do you know how to unmute yourself? There you go. How you doing, Kai? Hey, uh, what's today? <laughs> what's today? It's showcase day, man. Waiting room, waiting room, <laughs> waiting room. We are waiting in the waiting room to see what's going on. Oh, man, I love that song, Kai. We <sighs> are waiting in the waiting room. Can you hear room. us? Kai, any, any chance? I can't can hear, hear anybody. You can't hear you us? You cannot hear anybody? Uh-oh. Hmm. Well, let's see. What's wrong with the sound? I don't know what's wrong with uh. the sound. Kai, it could be those heads. I can't hear anybody. Is your volume up? Oh, there we go. Oh. There we go. Hear us we now? Are All right. in the waiting room. The waiting room. The waiting room. <laughs> you're going to have to change that because now, now, you're, now you're live. You yeah. have to change the lyrics. You're in the live room. How would you sing that song? We are in the There's that rock and roll. Yeah, man. Punk rock. <laughs> Love it. I'm at my grandpa's house today. You are? Oh, nice. Yes. He's got a, he's got a oh. keen headset. Well, it, Kai, it looks like I've got a really cool drum video that, that we have queued up for you. Do you want to tell us a little bit about it? No, I just want the drum video. What's that? I just want the drum you just, video. You just want to play it? No, no explanation, no introduction necessary. It's a long one. Can you no say, further ado. Yeah. Say, tell us, tell us, roll the clip. Oh, or, or <laughs> mouthful, or mouthful of chips. Kai. We're gonna roll the clip. <laughs> All right, Here's Kai. Kai. Roll the clip. Thanks, man.
That was a jam. That was good. <laughs> That's what a, a jam. Yeah. It's got chops. If you, you didn't know it from that cracker eating at the beginning of the interview and the song, you know it now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. So coming up next, we have Josie Brushwood, who has been working with Wes, it looks like she's going to be doing some bass playing for us. So, no further ado, here's Josie. Uh, hi, I'm Josie, and I'll be playing Everything Stays on the Bass. <laughs> so, yeah. Well done, Josie. All right. Well, that concludes our first hour of showcase. Um, and we'll be back again at, let's see, at we're gonna one. Take, we're going to take oh, five. Take five. Cool. So my name is Bethany. This is Andy and James. We're going to sign off. See you guys in five.
Hey, welcome back. This is Band-Aid School of Music's Winter Showcase 2020, and we are entering the second wave of showcase performances. So we're super excited to have Piper, our first performer of the second block. Hey, how you doing, Piper? Good. Good. We're really excited to hear what you're gonna perform for us. So can you tell us a little bit about what you're gonna be playing? I'm going to be playing, or I'm going to be singing Cups by Alicia Keys, and I'm going to be doing it a cappella. There's someone I'd like you to meet. His name is Chubby. He's a stuffed animal, but he's my best friend. Oh, very <laughs> cute. Is that a hamster with bunny ears? Yeah. Excellent. Love it. What's up, Chubby? <laughs> so is Chubby in the band? Does Chubby just hang out like number one groupie? out with my drumstick pencils. <laughs> Love it. All right. He says on my desk. Sit down, mister. <laughs> Your drumsticks. Piper, so, whenever you're ready to sing your song, take it away. I'm a ticket for the long way around. You bad whiskey for Sure would like some sweet company. I'm leaving tomorrow. What do you say? When I'm gone, when I'm gone, you're gonna miss me when I'm gone. You're gonna miss me by my hair. You're gonna miss me everywhere. Oh, you're gonna miss me when I'm gone, when I'm gone, when I'm gone. You're gonna miss me when I'm gone. I got my ticket for the long way around. You want to see the views? It's got sights to give you shivers, but it shows you when I'm gone. When I'm gone, you're gonna miss me when I'm gone. You're gonna miss me by my hair. You're gonna miss me everywhere. You're gonna miss me when I'm gone. When I'm gone, when I'm gone, you're gonna miss me when I'm gone. You're gonna miss me by my hair, you're gonna miss me everywhere. You're gonna miss me when I'm gone. Nice job, Piper. Thank that you. was so cool. That was a complicated thing you were doing with rhythmically with the cup and singing too. Congrats on that. Thank you. Yeah. Well, thanks a lot, Parker, or Piper. I'm sorry, Piper Posey. Is there anything that you, there's a famous actor called Parker Posey who I really like. So I, <laughs> I thought of her for just a second. Is there anything you'd like to say to your fans, Piper? Um, no. <laughs> All right, how about stay safe and goodbye and happy holidays? <laughs> Bye. 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 Um, how Bye. do I do this? Do I just leave the meeting? Yeah. Okay. Cute. That is mm. cute. Oh my gosh. All right, I've got Ryan Rock coming in here. Let's see who Ryan Rock is. Hey, Ryan. There's Ryan Rock. How are you, Ryan? Good. Great. You have, you have rock in your name, so that must be you're just a, a rock star. Mm. Right? Is that what that means? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Fair enough. That's a good place to be. Just, you know, rolling with it. Now, Candy says that you are writing your own songs on piano. Is that right? Is this one of them? Mm -hmm. What's it called? Holiday Joy. Holiday Joy. All right. Before you play it for us, do you want to tell us something that you really love about Lessons with Candy? Um, that um, what, what he listens to me when I'm about to play. Right on. That's sometimes that's what we need, right? Just somebody to listen to us especially when we're being creative. So helpful. Are you, are you excited to perform? Yeah. All right, you wanna take it away? Okay. 
Well done, Ryan. I love it. I love it. Do you want to know something amazing that you and I have in common? One of the first songs that I wrote was similar to that. Yeah. Yeah, way to go. Feel good? Yeah. All right. <laughs> well, thanks for joining us. Bye, have Ryan. Have a great day. Bye. Bye. I've got Alexander here. I'm going to bring in Alexander now. Alexander Lewis Kaplan, I presume. There is Alexander connecting to audio. <laughs> hey. Oh, oh, and he's gone. <laughs> <laughs> Alexander, we're just waiting for Caught off guard there. He was in the middle of a practice. Maybe, maybe. Like, I'm not ready to bring it out the world yet audio. it's time uh let's see alexander can you hear us now sounds like we've got audio on i got a thumbs up great and now we've got your video how are you we're live on youtube welcome hi how's your day going good cool do you want to sit down on your piano bench so we can see your gorgeous face <laughs> that hair oh. is just lovely. So good. So rock and roll. Love it. Hey, so, uh, yeah, sorry, Bethany, go ahead. Oh, that's okay. I was just going to ask. Um, it looks like you're ready to go, but um, I'm curious what, what you're going to play. I'm going to play Scarf Dance. Scarf Dance. Okay, that's cool. And who's your teacher? Jeff. All right. Jeff Norby, he's a good guy. Very cool. So we, we won't we we won't uh, make you wait anymore. If you want to take it away, go for it. Okay. Nice job. That was just gorgeous. I loved it. Beautiful. Did you choose that song? Mm -hmm. You did? I feel like that was a perfect wintertime song, even though it doesn't really get that cold here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Speak for yourself. I'm freezing. <laughs> well, well Great done. Job. Yeah. Thanks, Alexander. Welcome. You have a great holiday season and we'll see you at lessons. Bye. Bye. Okay, we've got Lakshmi in the waiting room, bringing Lakshmi in. Yeah.
Yeah, that was really enjoyable. I love that. It, it, well, it did feel like it's a total winter tune. I never thought of it as a winter song, but it, yeah, feels it right. It could go right along with, with like the, the Snoopy soundtrack. I was going to say Harry Potter. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. It does have that, you know, da, da, na, 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 da, 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 yeah, and it's got I wish they would put sure. that series on Netflix or somewhere streamable. It's on because... HBO. Really? Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, looks like I'm gonna have to get a subscription yep. finally. Yep. The, yep. The, the, the wife and I, mo- Laura drives it mostly, but the wife and I do. Uh, we watch it a couple times a year, all the way through. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm due. <laughs> yeah, my good friend Clara, who's nine. Just went through all of them. I was surprised because the later ones are kind of scary. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But uh, she weathered it. Let's see, uh, <laughs> yeah. Lakshmi, if, if you're there, can you uh, unmute your, your audio and show us your video so we can chat with you? I think we've got a pre recorded video that we're going to play. Yeah, I have a pre recorded video. All right. Come on on. Let's, let's see you on the camera. We can, you can tell us all about it. Or can you turn your camera on? Uh, turn your camera on. She's wiped out. She had a big theater performance last night, so she's got messy hair. Oh, oh man. Fuzzy hair is my favorite. Busy, personally, busy. But that's, you know, I understand. <laughs> so, Lakshmi, tell us a little bit about your theater performance last night. How was that? You're muted. Oh, good. There we go. Yeah. So we need the camera to go down a bit, or you just want to, there you go. So can you unmute yourself and tell us about your theater performance? What did you perform last night? Are you talking? We're having trouble hearing you. Uh oh. Okay. Like technical difficulties. Technical difficulties on that end. So. If I turn on my camera, it gets very laggy. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. okay. All right. Well, yeah, tell us about your theater performance. I did the Amy Beeson musical. Ooh, that's cool. Yeah. Who did you play? I was just a narrator. Oh, that's cool. That's a very important role. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I was also an understudy for The Beast. Oh, nice. Nice. Very cool. I bet that was a fun part to study for. I don't know what you're playing, but I'm going to guess that it's singing. Am I right? I'm not doing singing. Oh, dang. Piano? Yeah. Ah, sweet. Cool. All right. You want to tell us a little bit about the video that we're about to stream? I'm I'm, I'm playing Alla Wedder. A classic. All right. And what was it that guided you to choose Alouette? Uh, I had no idea what songs to pick, so I just chose a random one. Because <laughs> <laughs> most of the songs I usually want to play are just like really hard. Mm-hmm. So you're going for the more advanced pieces and really challenging yourself. Well, I'll let this kind of easy now that I played a lot. That, played a lot. Mm-hmm. that does tend to happen. You know, you pick a song that uh, was hard at first, and then it's like, well, this is a breeze. Easy. <laughs> cool. Well, thanks for coming on and talking to us, Lakshmi. We're going to go ahead and roll the clip, and you can pop off and watch it in real time with your family. Have a happy holiday.
Nice job, Lakshmi. Welcome, everybody. Yeah, that was cool. That was cool. Hey, we've got uh, Emma Rock. Emma, can you um, oh. say hi to us here? Oh, hi. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Great. Great. So, um, yeah, we're happy to have you on. And do, are you playing that uh, electric kit? Can we hear the audio of that electric kit just real quickly? Yeah, sure. Yeah, there you go. Okay, cool. Ooh, yeah. All right, sweet. Right. You can hear it all really well. So do you want to intro uh, what's happening? What, what are you uh, enjoying about your lessons? Well, that I get to learn new beats. Cool. Have you always been interested in drums? Yeah. Yeah? How long have you been taking lessons? Um, about, uh, oh, wow, I can't remember now. I'm pretty sure at least two years, maybe? Two years, nice. And who's your teacher? Um, I used to have D's, but now I have, uh, oh, uh, I can't remember now. It happens to the best of us. That's okay. Yeah, especially putting you on the spot. <laughs> um, that happens to me all the time, actually. Like, I have friends that I've known for years, and I'll go to introduce them to another friend I've known for years, and I forget both their names. Yeah. It's so embarrassing. <laughs> yeah, I just want to crawl under a rock. <laughs> so I totally get it. You're in good crawl under a, a, an Emma rock? Oh. But, oh. Yeah. That was bad. All right. <laughs> so, do you have a name for this beat? Not yet. You gonna? We're gonna name it for you here, right? Okay. Like, how's that? Sure. You wanna? You wanna show us? Yeah. Okay. Hold on. Okay. Oh, sorry. Nice job, Emma. That was great. I haven't played that beat before. Have you ever played that beat, Andy? I don't recognize it. It's a good one. Is that one that you came up with, or did you uh, did Dee's show that one to you? Yeah, he did. I'll have to ask him. I'll text him in a minute. Try to play that later. Like so, it. what should we name that? I don't know. Hmm. I feel like I feel like the obvious choice is the Emma Rock beat. But yeah, that's I don't what know. I'm calling it. I there was actually thinking of naming it after one of my favorite YouTubers. Oh, okay. Uh, Shout his out. name is Wilbur. 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 All right, Wilbur Rock Beat. <laughs> there there you is. go. <laughs> Heard it here first, folks. <laughs> and it's School of Music live webcast with Emma Rock, the Wilbur Rock Beat. <laughs> well, thanks, Emma, for joining us. Happy holidays. We'll see you at lessons. All right, bye. Bye. All right, we got Havala Winslow coming in. All right. This hey, is going to be, uh, this is gonna be hey, Connor hi. and Scarlett. Oh, What's okay. up? Sorry, do I need to change the name? <laughs> if you'd like, we know who you are now. It's OK. OK. OK, cool. Well, they're here. Yeah, yeah, we, get, we got Sorry, your videos so all queued yeah. up. OK, good. That's great. So, uh, who who wants to go first? Connor wants to go first. Connor, Connor is my guitar student. We've been working on "Welcome to the Jungle," which uh, we've got a great video uh, for everyone. Connor, do you want to uh, tell us a little bit about why you picked that song? Come on, bud. You want to hold the phone? And... No, are we unmuted? I think we're unmuted. You're good to go. Yeah, yeah. we can hear you loud and clear. <laughs> I don't really know. I mean, I it was just it's it's I guess it was just my favorite song at mm -hmm. the time. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, right now it is, but it's your favorite song. Yeah, yeah. It's my favorite. He's song. hardcore. 
it's <laughs> it's a good one. It's a good one. Lot, lots of great riffage in that tune. Well, cool. Well, uh, do you have anything else that you wanna you wanna say to to introduce the tune before we roll it? Um, no. All right. Well, no further ado. Here's Connor okay. Heath playing "Welcome to the Jungle," okay. and y'all y'all stay put. Right. We'll be right back. We will. Yeah. Oh, technical difficulties on my part. One moment here while I get it set up. Stalling, stalling, and... Setup. I think Scarlett's got a cool like scene set too. Y'all did a really great job with that. My cat really <laughs> enjoyed it. This is Kimchi. Uh, he was drooling on me just a second ago. So <laughs> it was that good. It was that good. So we still have Scarlett. And Scarlett, why don't you tell us a little bit about what we're about to watch? Um, this song is by Queen. Oh, I love Queen. Queen mm -hmm. is uh, iconic. Mm -hmm. So what song are you singing? Huh? Are you singing? Um, yes. What song is it? Um, we Will Rock You. Oh, nice. Classic. Classic. Love it. Very good. All right, well. She was really just learning the piano part, but she wanted to sing it too, so she uh, threw it. Well, we fully expect everybody at home to be singing along with you, Scarlett. Cause it's that kind of song. I'll be singing. I, know, I will. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. So 
Um, if you're ready for us to see, then why don't you say, roll the clip. Roll the clip. Funny old boy making big noise playing in the street. Gonna be a big bird someday. You got mud on your face, you big disgrace. Kicking your kennel over the place. Singing, we will, we will rock you. So good, so good. I want to welcome everybody back. I wanted to just take a minute to talk about some of our students that we're spotlighting for this showcase. So I'm going to share my screen here and do that. Um, Gavin Garner has a natural ear for music. He began taking piano lessons a couple of years back. Recently, he was found, found his love for guitar, dyslexia. Why am I the one reading? That's crazy. But anyway, <laughs> Gavin is always up for the chal challenging himself musically. He loves playing Beatles, Guns N' Roses, and Oasis, both on piano and guitar. So congratulations, Gavin Garner. You are one of our student spotlights for this showcase. That takes some uh, doing to, to earn that spot. Uh, I want to take a minute to talk about some of our workshops in 2021 coming up. So for those of you who have makeup credits, you are eligible for any of these workshops. And these are not just exclusive to Band-Aid students. So if you're watching and you're not currently enrolled in Band-Aid, you are welcome to enroll in any of these workshops. Um, we have everything from basic recording, how to practice, study halls, Rhythm 101, hip hop, tone, musical theater, power singing, band leader skills, songwriting. And I wanna draw special attention to our February workshops because those workshops are free to uh, anyone who would like to sign up for those in honor of Black History Month. Uh, we have a music business workshop, we have a Black History Month stolen songs, songs that were stolen from Black artists and um, they were never given credit or royalties or money for. Uh, we have a Black History Month female artists and Black Excellence as well. So we're really excited about those and want to share those with everybody. Uh, we also have some Stage Moves courses in March, which anybody who's uh, singing or playing guitar or bass could definitely uh, benefit from. Uh, Bethany or Andy, do you have anything to add? Take it, take advantage of it. There's uh, this is this is the time to step out and try something that you you know maybe is outside your your wheelhouse or your comfort zone. Um, you know, part of being a well-rounded musician is taking influence from all kinds of places. So if you're a rock drummer, take the hip hop workshop. If you are a, uh, a jazz uh, singer, study uh, 90s rock in January, and you'll be able to take whatever you learn and bring it back to you know, whatever you consider your home base or your interests. It's all part of, um, you know, kind of that discovery of, of figuring out your style and what you like, and you'll never know what you'll find. 
The workshops have been very fun um, to be a part of. And I, I've taught a couple of um, songwriting or I did songwriting and fashion and they were they were both really fun. So um, it's it's different from lessons. It's it's a little bit more. Um, I feel like it's a little bit more relaxed for me personally. And uh, it's just a chance to branch out and try something new, just like Andy said. So your fashion workshop was a big hit, wasn't it? I thought so. I feel like I think we had more students in that one than we have in any other one. So well done, Austin, me. Austin, Texas. <laughs> Bring in the fashion. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's great. So workshops. So we encourage uh, everybody to sign up for those. And uh, like I said, if you're not uh, currently enrolled at Band-Aid, it's a great way to get introduced to our culture. Uh, meet some other like-minded musicians in those workshops. Um, great place to make friends, too, especially now. Everybody needs some social life, right? And some of those are happening online uh, when we can do so safely, uh, socially distanced and with masks and everybody taking temperatures. We, we do things in person as well. So just check in with us at info at bandaidschoolofmusic.com if you've got any questions about that. I don't see anyone in our waiting room, Andy. Is anyone in the green room? Can you sit, see? Sit for the green room. Okay. So with 12 hours of showcases over the course of the weekend, it is not uncommon to have some spaces where we get to just take a little breather. The, the, um, the part that I miss about being together and, and being in a venue is that these are the times when we staffers would all get up and play together, perform and just jam on songs and, it's such a great way for musicians to connect, just to play together. So, yeah, those are definitely my favorite moments too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And just to hear, I, one of the things I, I love about it is just hearing how flipping talented everybody on staff really is. I mean, we kind of take it for granted because we're all playing at a certain level, you know, at, a, at an A-list level and in our own, you know, areas of expertise and Austin being such an amazing place for musicians the you know the the watermark is really high here um, just because we there's so much live music going on and sometimes i kind of take it for granted and i forget you know just how extraordinary everybody is and so it's those moments that i really love because i get a chance to hear everybody just bust it out it's so well, you know, the uh, silver lining of this whole quarantine is I think a lot of um, musicians have had a chance to really sink into recording mm. stuff. So um, that's been a really good thing for, I know, for my band. And actually, I don't know if you guys know this, but Andrew Savage and I just released a Christmas song. So um, that happened just, I think, yesterday, I think it was. Cool. We recorded our version of Blue Christmas. It's really cool, if I do say so myself. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Right on. Yeah, I can't wait to hear that. Where can we find it? So that is streaming everywhere. It's it's on Spotify or um, iTunes, just anywhere that uh, you can stream music, pretty much. Way cool. That reminds me, Bethany is here, and this is Bethany's new release, in addition to the Christmas song, End All Be All. Uh, from Lady Chops and the <laughs> Jam uh, with Bethany Harden and Nick Menka, uh, who is also on our staff on drums. And that's available uh, I, on Spotify and SoundCloud and Bandcamp. And I think probably iMusic, yeah? Mm -hmm. iTunes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. iTunes. So Instagram name Lady Chops Forever. Check mm -hmm. that out. And I think you mentioned Andy, Andrew, too. His oh, yeah, Andrew. It's got another release called Another Restless Life, single by Andrew Savage. And his so Instagram good. is Andrew Savage underscore music. Find that in everywhere music is streamed as well. I'm also helping Andrew with um, uh, putting together a music video for this. So that's been a really fun thing to do. Andrew Savage and I have gotten to uh, hang out a bit more. He's, he's in our quarantine bubble actually he lives like down the street from us so it's been really fun hanging out 
and doing music stuff. Oh, so good. Mm -hmm. So good. You know, it's funny. I feel like we're, uh, Andy and I are going to, we're starting a Band-Aid School of Music YouTube interview show that we're going to strip the mu the uh, the audio out and put it up as a podcast. I feel like we're, we're kind of just practicing for that right now. We're just getting our, getting our game down, getting our banter down. It's kind of fun. Podcasts if, are the thing to do, I think. As long as we're interesting enough for people to listen to, I'm not, I haven't checked how many people are listening right now. <laughs> <laughs> watching right now. <laughs> Thing to check. Mm. But I think if uh, if nobody has any objections, I think maybe we'll um, take a little breather and come back at two o'clock for uh, for the next round of our Sunday Winter Showcase. Right on. Sounds good. How's that sound, everybody? Yeah. We'll right. uh, we'll see y'all at two o'clock. All right. From James Mays, Bethany Harnden, and Andy Tenberg, we will see you shortly. Eighty.
Hey, 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 welcome back, everybody. I'm James Mays from Band-Aid School of Music. I'm here with my co-host, Bethany Horndon. Hi, Bethany. Hi. I think you meant to say ho, ho, ho. Right? I, yeah, of course. That's exactly what I meant to say. <laughs> Uh, our producer, Andy Tenberg, is also with us with audio, and we have Elliot with us now, who's going to perform. Uh, we, we've got a video performance of you, don't we, Elliot? Cool. Can you unmute yourself and have a little chat with us? Hi. Hi. Um, uh, how's it going in, the, in your bedroom of cloudy skies? I like your clouds behind you. Good, thank you. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us a little bit about this song, why you chose it? Um, so I forgot what it was called because we did it last Friday. Um, but yeah. Do you, you remember what it, what it is though? Like you performed it, right? Yeah. What do you like about the song? Um, it was just like a couple of chords together, but I liked how it sounded. Mm. So is it piano that you're playing? No, it's guitar. Oh, guitar. Awesome. And Elliot, what are you liking about Lessons at Band-Aid with Andrew? Um, I just like it in general. I feel like it's really fun to do. And are you, are you online mostly doing your lessons online still? Yeah. yeah. And how's that experience for you? What's it like? Um, it's actually pretty good. Is it easier in some ways because you get to stay in your pajamas and slippers? Sometimes. <laughs> Excuse me. <coughs> well, that's fun. So, uh, Andy, I think we have a clip. Are you ready to roll it? All right, Elliot, you want to say roll the clip? Looks like she's muted. I'll say it. Roll the clip. Nice job. So fun. Welcome back, everybody. We have Eli Graham with us today. Say hi, Eli. Hi. How are you? Good. Yeah? What's happening in your world? <laughs> Just hanging out at the piano? Yeah? That's how we musicians of... live life, isn't it? Just hanging out at the piano. Mm -hmm. I was hanging out at mine earlier today, too. So can you tell us a little bit about uh, the song that you're going to play for us today? Yeah. It's called Gravity Falls. I have no idea who it's by because it's, because it's the theme song of Michelle. The theme song of Michelle? Of a show, yeah. Oh, of a show. Okay. I what see. show? Gravity Falls. Oh, that's the name of the show. And so you're playing the theme song of Gravity Falls. Got it. All right, well, we've got a little research project then. Uh, we, we need to find out who, play, who wrote Gravity Falls. So we can search that later today. That'll be next, next lesson. Yeah. yeah. Are you ready to play for us, Eli? Yeah. All right.
Nice job, Eli. That was lovely. Loved it. Yeah, I feel good. <laughs> All right. Happy holidays, Eli. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you at your next lesson. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Cool. All right. We have uh, Christine Winston showing up here. I have two Christines. So let's see what happens with this. There. Hello. Hi. 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 How's, how's it going? Good. Oh, she's ready to go. <laughs> so, sorry, what did you say? I'm a boy. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> what? So what is your name? Emmett. Emmett. Hey, Emmett. Sorry, sorry about that. We had Christine on your uh, on your name, and and so uh, yeah, that's probably your mom, huh? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Cool. I'm a, I'm excited to hear what you're gonna play. Can you tell us what song it is? I'm gonna be playing TNT. TNT, nice. And who's your teacher? Andrew. Oh, sweet. Very good. What's the thing you like and most about lessons with Andrew? Hmm. He teaches me stuff like as he like what I'm trying to say is that it's super easy to understand what he's saying because he like tells me what strings I'm supposed to like so, yeah. Right. Well, that's cool because because he's he's giving you really clear instructions that are make it easy for you. Yeah. Oh, I'm happy to hear that. That's important. Cool. Are you ready to rock for us? Yes. All right. Let's have it. I'm gonna be singing in one part, and I'm gonna not be singing in another. amazing thank you your timing is just awesome thank you yeah no problem yeah singing and playing at the same time that's not easy mm -hmm. it's, yeah <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty hard do you think sorry what i was gonna ask you if you think that you might switch to electric at some point Oh, I have an electric. Oh. Just it's missing a string. Oh, I see. That is a problem. <laughs> well, it sounds just as good on a acoustic guitar. So I love. It. Yeah. Really good job. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Well, thanks, Emmett. We'll see you at next lesson and have a happy holidays. Okay. Bye. 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 Can you leave the meeting? Sure.
I'm going to let Luke in. Hey, Luke. Oh, yeah, oh. connecting. <laughs> How's it going, Luke? Good. Good. Looks like you're ready to roll on the keys yeah. today. <laughs> Very cool. So tell us about the song that you're going to play. The name of the song is called School Rules. Ooh, very cool. Do you agree with that statement? Do you think school rules? Yes. <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> and who's your teacher? Uh, it was Eric, but now it's Miss Sean away. Ah, oh, very good. That's super exciting. Do you know who um, originally plays this song, School Rules? No. No? Okay. Well, we're really excited to hear you play. You're going to play live for us, I assume, right? Yeah. Very good. All right. So if, if you're ready to take it away, go for it. job way to go that was <laughs> awesome that's gotta feel good huh yeah yeah do you have anything you want to say to your fans out in youtube land no you say happy holidays uh, yeah all right <laughs> thanks for playing with us today that was really great really enjoyable i really appreciate you coming on and playing thank you all right <laughs> we'll see you soon Bye. 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 That smile is infectious. So good. <laughs> All right, let me bring on Connor. Oh, hey, Connor. Hey, Connor. Yeah. Welcome. We are we're live, Connor. What's going on? Um, not much. Um, I think I'm doing. Boulevard of Broken Dreams. Yeah, I've got the the video all queued up for you. Yeah, excited. You wanna you wanna tell us why? Uh, so Connor, by the way, is, is my student. We're learning the ukulele. What why did what made you pick this song? Well, I listened to a lot of Green Day. Um, I started listening to what six, seven, five. I started listening to Green Day when I was five. I've just been really into that band. We and we started learning it at some point, but we never really followed through on that. But I just kind of decided to, like, actually learn on it. Mm -hmm. We learned the whole thing. Sure did. Your per your performances are always some some that I look forward to. So I'm Thank really you. excited. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this is a this is a staff band video. So we've got Connor playing ukulele. Jack is singing, Wyatt is on bass, and Wes is going to be on drums. Connor, will you, uh, will you cue it off for us? Say, uh, roll the clip. Roll the clip! I walk a lonely road, the only one that I have ever known. Sometimes I wish someone else. 
20s before I could play with a band like that. <laughs> late, late teens, definitely late teens. So that that is super cool. I love that. Yeah, he's I'm, doing a great so, job. But by the way, um, for those who were wondering, yes, these videos are going to go on YouTube. These streams will stay on YouTube, so you can go through the six-hour stream and just fast forward and just find your own performance if you want to do that too. We will be taking notable performances and putting them in a separate playlist for the showcases as much as we it takes a lot of time to do that to cut out interviews and cut out that so as much time as we have to dedicate to it we'll do that so you'll be able to find more videos that way right now we have preston cobb how you doing preston good yeah what's uh what's happening sunday chilling with your guitar pretty much Mm-hmm. How, how's your quarantine life going? Uh, school's a bit stressful, to be honest. Mm. Yeah, are you doing most of it online? Pretty much all of it, actually. Mm -hmm. What what's Is it more stressful online for you than going in person? Way less stressful. Mm. Way less stressful online than in person. Well, that's nice. Why? Because you just get to chill in your bed while you're on, on the computer. Yeah, well, I, I do still come down every morning. <laughs> okay. It's good to be on a schedule. Yeah. Get out of bed occasionally. Good. And I bet uh, playing guitar is a nice escape, too. It, it really is. Awesome. What are you going to play for us today? So I'm going to be playing an original song called The Shadows, um, and inspiration being my terrible luck. <laughs> all right. I think we can probably all relate to that. <laughs> Take it away, Preston Cobb. Mm -hmm. Thank you. 
just a ghost This ghost is a bird You know what this bird does He owns the shadows I got chills, Preston. That was really good. So who is your teacher? Uh, it's a strange name, but she's Miss Old, but she's Nick. Nick sorry, sorry. I <laughs> teacher, sorry, I, I got confused there. <laughs> nice, very good. So how long have you been working on this original song? Uh, about a month. A month? You just witnessed my mind exploding. That was what that was. <laughs> Very good. Well, I hope you keep it up. That was awesome. And um, if you're not already looking for a band, I think you should be. Hmm. Oh, sure. I got some suggestions there, Preston. But yeah, man, I love how steady your right hand is. You're just really keeping great time. The lyrics were super cool. Your singing is all right on pitch throughout. Well done. That was solid. 10 years old, writing and playing that. Impressive, man. Impressive. Way to go. Thanks for joining us and sharing that with us today, Preston. <laughs> anything you want to say? Uh, I really have anything, so said it all with your music i can relate <laughs> all right well happy holidays and we'll see you at band-aid soon i hope that'd be great all right all bye right. preston all right i'm gonna bring in kai hey kai hey kai how are you good I like What's your happening? Christmas tree. Thank I think, you. I think Kai, you're you're here to uh, share some audio of uh, GDVP. Is that correct? Yeah. Great. You want to tell us a little bit about that? Uh, we're a band. <laughs> what is right. what is what does GDVP <laughs> stand for? Guitar. Drums, voice, and piano. Yes. Very straightforward. I love it. Practical. Love it. love it. And you're playing with Bodie, right? Bodie's in your band? Yeah. Yeah. So how's what that going? How, how are you enjoying playing in a band? It's fun. Mm -hmm. why, why is it fun? Because I get to play with other people instead of just playing alone. Hmm. Yeah, I actually hear that a lot, quite a lot, especially now huh? with, with COVID and quarantine, it's becoming even more special to be able to connect with other friends and play music, yeah? Yeah. Hmm. What instrument do you play? I play the drums. Right on. Very cool. So is the audio that we're gonna hear, is that, a cover song or is it an original song? Tell us more. Um, we made it. You made it up? 
Yeah. How long did it take you to write this song? Uh, I don't know, maybe like a couple months. Okay, very good. Mm -hmm. Well, I think we're ready to hear it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're gonna listen to the audio and just hang out here on camera, yeah? What's, what's the name of the song? Pretty rude. <laughs> Pretty rude. Hey, while you're pulling that up, uh, Kai, I understand that your birthday is coming up this month. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, and it's on the 26th. 28th. 28th? Yeah, so I uh, just wanted to say happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Kai. Happy birthday to you. Woo! And many more. Many more. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Well, I think we're ready to play it. Here we go. Here is uh, GDVP. Pretty rude. Hey, do you, can you tell us a little bit more about the song? What inspired it? What What are the words about? What do you What do you enjoy about it? Uh, well, it's about a, a tiny little kitty in a big city. <laughs> if I had to guess, I would say that Mr. Andrew Savage is your teacher. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. You know how I know that. Because, because Andrew is always singing that song. <laughs> He's saying, <laughs> big city, little kitty. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> well, thanks for sharing that with us, Kai. Happy holidays and Bye. We'll see you around. Bye. Adios. Thank you. All right, we've got Wes Armstrong, musician extraordinaire. Hey guys, how's it going? Happy to be here. Yeah, glad to have you. Wes is one of our staff members. And uh, tell us why you're here, Wes. Well, I'm here to share a video for Jason Brandt. Uh, he is going to play a piano for you, play some piano for you. He's going to do an uh, Ode to Joy. Oh, cool. All right. Nice. Okay, should I go ahead and go for that? Yeah, you share yeah. screen. Should be able to. Oh, Jason, here, Jason. Wait a minute. Before you do, I see Jason in the waiting room. Oh, yeah, let's bring him in. Bring him in. Let's see. Hey, 
Hey, Jason. Yeah. Are you there? Can you hear us? <laughs> All right. Hey, can you turn your screen sideways? Yeah. Oh, okay. Now turn it back. There you go. Oh, nice. oh, got it, man. Hey, we've got Wes here. Uh, he's going to play your video of your song, Ode to Joy. Yeah, you down for that? Yeah. Do you want to tell us a little bit about what you love about taking lessons with Wes? Um, uh, mm, don't be shy. Um, he's a great teacher. Um, Looks like you didn't bribe him enough, Wes. Double it next time. <laughs> Are you not getting my checks? I've been mailing you checks, buddy. You got to pump me up in public. <laughs> yeah. What's fun about it? What's fun about it? Um, learning new songs. Mm, yeah. Yeah. It's one of my faves, too. I like your Harry Potter shirt. Thank you. Mm hmm. <laughs> Um, I'm having a hard time doing the share screen. It says it's disabled. Huh, okay. Um, you, wanna, you wanna make me the host real quick, James, and I'll, uh, I'll fix it. Sure. So what made you choose this song? Because Christmas is coming. Mm -hmm. Good choice. All right, Wes, you should be able to share your screen now. Green access. We're gonna do the waiting dance. Mm -hmm. The waiting dance. Mm -hmm. Bust a move. And we need to like da 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 do 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 da do 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 That'll be the next song you have to learn. Is, <laughs> it? Is it working Sorry. for you, Wes? <laughs> Rest in peace, Alex Tri Trebek. Yeah. By the way. Yeah. To grant it access. Is it a Zoom thing or is it a, a, a separate issue? Seems like a separate issue. Okay. See if that works. Oh man, cool. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, while well, you guys are figuring that out. Here we go. There we go. Okay, great. Okay, so it should be good, right? Not seeing the screen share yet. How old are you, by the way? Seven and a half. Seven and a half. Seven is my lucky number. Mm. Mine too. Nice. Uh, so yeah. has it been a good year? Yeah. Okay, I think I got it, guys. All right. Right on. Yeah. There it is. Okay, let me blow that up. A little blurry, but it sounds good. Okay, you guys ready? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Nicely okay. done. Well that done. Great. Worth a wait. Right. Well, thank you guys. Jason, do you want to say anything about that before we jump off? Um. Thank you. There you go. All right. Thank you. Great job. Happy holidays. See y'all. Bye bye. All right, Andy, you want to put make me the host again, so yeah. you don't have to manage everything. Let's see here. Okay, there thanks, guys. Thanks for working with me on that.
Thanks a lot, Wes. Yeah, yeah thanks for coming in and doing that, Wes. Hey, great drumming. I've seen you know, all your videos on all the drumming you've been doing on them. <laughs> really oh, thanks, cool man. Thank you. Thank you. All right. See you guys soon. Bye. Bye. Okay. So, and so, uh, I think that's it. We're uh, clear. Wow. There was a, uh, there might have been a, did, did we play uh, Dana Fayad's video from the last showcase? Oh, I don't think so. I don't think that she joined us. She didn't make it on. And we had play to that real quick. Up. We didn't play. Yeah, let's All play right. that. Yeah. Good call. All right, here we go. Looks like she's sitting at a piano and I see some lyrics. I bet you we're going to see some piano and vocals happening. Here we go. For Christmas, there's just one thing I need. I don't care about the presents underneath the Christmas tree. I just want you for my own, more than you could ever know. Make my wish come true. All I want for Christmas. Christmas classic. Mm. Yeah. Hey, thanks everybody for joining us for the uh, two o'clock central time showcase. We've got two more showcases, one at three o'clock central and another at four. Am, am I right? Or do we I think there's a, there's a, there's a five to six as well. We have three more showcases coming up uh, on behalf of Bethany Harnden, Andy Tenberg, and myself, James Mays. Thank you for tuning in, and we will see you back at the top of the hour.
Hey, welcome back, everybody. I'm James Mays from Band-Aid School of Music. I'm here with co-host Bethany Harnden and Andy Tenberg, our producer for the day and our co-host. And we have Henry Fleming here. How you doing, Henry? Good. Yeah? What's happening in your world? Do you want to introduce us to your family? Uh, yeah, this is my mom, Jenny, and this is my dad, Steve. Um, nothing really is happening right now. Kind of boring weekend. Mm. Boring can be nice sometimes. Okay. Yeah, when you get to be my age, you start looking forward to boring weekends. Yeah. <laughs> uh, cool. So you want to give us the lowdown on what you've got recorded for us to watch? So I guess the performance is a video of me playing Yellow Light by of Monsters and Men with also some vocals sung by the staff band. Mm -hmm. Yep, yeah, we've got Claire and uh, Claire Boyd and Zach are going to be singing the vocal parts. Oh, cool. Very yeah. cool. Mm -hmm. All right, well, uh, here, you want to get used to this. It's a rock star. Uh, Henry, just say, roll the clip. Roll the clip. <laughs> I'm looking for a place to stay. song. It was a good choice by Henry. Yeah, great arrangement too. Super cool. So we have Margo with us now. Hey, Margo, how are you? Good. Good. It's good to see you. So uh, tell us about the video that we're going to watch. Well, um, I've only done like, I just discovered this song. Well, I just like stalled the song like two weeks ago. Um, so it is Sockers by Britney Spears and um, it's pretty hard to like keep up with the rhythm because like yeah and I hope you all enjoy. Oh nice so so what instrument do you play so the Drum. world knows? Drums. Very good all right so whenever you're ready just say roll the clip and we'll do that. Roll the clip? Okay uh well, my name is Margo, and I'm going to play Sockets by Britney Spears.
Thank you. Job. All right. So with us now we have Canon Clark. Hey Canon, how are you? Good. Good. You know, you can keep yourself unmuted. We're gonna keep talking to you for, for a minute here. So what I want to ask you first is, well, it looks like you're gonna be playing a piano song for us. So what's the name of the song? Ode to Joy. Oh, another Ode to Joy. Wonderful. Sweet. So who is your, um, who's your teacher? Uh, Candy. Sweet. And how do you like lessons with Candy? Pretty much. It's, it's good. I've, uh, I've been liking it more lately because I finally learned the song to Joy. Oh, so it's anticipating learning this song? Yeah. Very good. Cool. And who's that in the background of your shot? Uh, it's my dad. Hey, dad. All right. <laughs> All right, well, whenever you're ready, we're ready to hear you. Okay, I'll start now. beautiful loved it how'd that feel what how'd that feel uh, it was good thanks right. <laughs> well thanks for joining us canon that was that was really nice to hear that you're welcome yeah happy holidays we'll see you at band-aid you too bye bye all right all right we've got alexander bain coming on while canon figures that up Alexander is connecting to audio. Dragon Lord of the South, Alexander Bain. What's right. happening? That is a rock and roll name. <laughs> Sporting an SG with the Dragon Lord of the South. That's great. Yeah. That's all kinds Love of rock. That. Is that is that a is that a D and D thing? Yes. Nice. I need to play as often as I'd like, though. You and me both. I wish I had more time for it. That's cool, man. Hmm. Usually <laughs> takes way too long just to create a character, so. <laughs> <laughs> right, you gotta have the whole backstory. You gotta figure out the whole thing. It's, I mean, you know, if you're gonna do it, you gotta do it right. Right. It looks like you got your character all set up, though. <laughs> yeah, for today, I really, I dig, I dig the uh, the white SG. That's looking cool, man. What are you, uh, what are you playing for us today? Uh, Limelight by Rush. Ooh. Nice. Yeah, I do. I am not doing the solo. I am not. <laughs> I don't think I could do the solo either. <laughs> so why, why, why this song? Why, uh, why Rush? Why Limelight? Uh, because a, it's Rush. Very important. And I, I don't know. I just, I just like the song. I can't explain why. It's just. Fair enough. Fair enough. Who's who's your teacher? Uh, Andrew. Andrew. All right. Very cool. Well, I'm excited to hear it. Me too. Take it Me away. Too. You want to take it away? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Living on a lion's tail approaches the unreal For those who think and feel In touch with some reality Beyond the gilded cage Cast in this Living in the light of the 
Yeah. Great job. Mm -hmm. And yeah, that brings me back. I spent a whole road trip jamming uh, moving pictures and feedback. Those were the two uh, Rush albums. It was like a whole two weeks of my life listening to nothing but that song. And there was YYZ was on that in that rotation, Summertime Blues. I loved That was a great performance, man. So cool. Great job. Oh, your audio is glitching out a little bit. Say that again. I'm just going to need to rest my hand for about a week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I can see it smoking. It was on fire a little bit. <laughs> Alexander, are you in a band? Uh, I was, and then quarantine happened, and now I'm not. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Which band were you in again? Were you in GDPP? Uh, Greentown. I forgot what his name was. I don't remember. I think the band name was Dreamtown, wasn't it? Yes. That, yeah, that was that. Dreamtown. Yeah. It's a good band name. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sounds like a Springsteen song, too. Dreamtown. Well, cool. We'll look forward to uh, this being over and being able to get you back into one, man. This is skills that must be used to rock with people. <laughs> all right well thanks for joining us have a great holiday and i'll see you in lessons all right alexander <laughs> okay we had a kate in the waiting room we lost kate so uh i guess it is maybe time to throw up some slides i'll uh get with the green room send some more over okay uh, yeah, so uh, we have a state-of-the-art recording studio at Band-Aid School of Music uh, with a Toft board. And for those of you who don't know who Toft is, Toft built all the Trident boards. Um, if, if you are not as much of a geek as I am, that means that bands like the Rolling Stones, Queen, the Beatles, uh, all played through Trident boards, Led Zeppelin, and then... Toft went on when the in the 80s when the big studios uh, started having trouble. He went off and started making smaller boards for smaller studios. And so we actually own the same board that Radiohead makes their records through. It's a 16 channel Toft board. Really sounds great. We've got some uh, great universal audio gear and some super cool mics. So uh, the type of recording that you can get at Band Aid is is uh, comparable to anywhere else you're gonna get uh, quality recordings. And we're pricing them obviously student-friendly prices. So if you're interested, if you're at the level where you wanna record some songs and record and learn about that process, this is a good way to do it. Uh, you can organize it with your teacher or you can contact us directly at info at bandaidschoolofmusic.com to set up your tracking date and figure out if you want it hire a staff band to play with you, or if you want to do all the instruments yourself, or if you're going to get a little help from your teacher, there's a lot of different ways to slice it. So uh, that's a fun way to experience and express music is in a recording session. Uh, I want to remind everybody we're on social media. You're on our YouTube channel right now. If you're watching and you haven't subscribed, this is a good time to do it really easy. It's probably right below watching just subscribe to band-aid and that way when our new videos come out um you can get a notification i think there's a little bell notification um, young people know all about this so just ask a kid how to do that and uh you'll get all the notifications and we're going to do our best to to chop up these showcases so that they're in digestible chunks right now it's you know six hours of showcase content we're going to chop all that up and put those in playlists for you. So if you want to go back and review your performances and that kind of thing, that's a good way to do it. Or, or if you want to be notified of any upcoming things, we're also on Facebook and Instagram and it's just at Band-Aid School of Music, whatever those platforms are slash Band-Aid School of Music, you'll find us and you can subscribe and like us and follow us and we'll keep you posted on things that are going on. I can't see if anybody's in the waiting room while I'm showing these slides. So, 
What do you think, Andy? Did they you... said that they were having a little trouble with the link, so a little bit of technical difficulty. You might check. Uh, we uh, we had them try an alternate method to get some performers in here. Oh, yeah. I see. Uh, let's see. We've already seen Ken and Clark, but I see Kate back in, so let's bring Kate in. That might actually be Indefinitely. Merlin's mom, Kate. Yeah. Yes, it is. Hey, Kate. Welcome. Are you trying to broadcast Merlin, or are you trying to watch? Okay, so you're um, so if you want to watch, go to the YouTube channel, and you'll see a link there. Go to the YouTube Band Aid School of Music, and you can watch on YouTube live stream. So I'm going to pop Kate out of the live stream, and let's see. Cannon Clark already played, so I don't think that's. I do have um, a video. It's a short video All right. lined up of Harry Osborne. Cool. Let's watch it. It looks like I Harry's see. in the green room. Do you want to wait until oh. he's he comes in? Sure. Yeah, I, want to, I want to give a chance to ask him about it. Um, let's see. Cannon, let's see. So Everly Clark might be wanting to come in here. That's why we've got Cannon again. Let's see. Hey guys, <laughs> welcome. I see Cannon. There you are again. Did you? Did he you need hear to come you back? Yeah, he's still connecting to audio. There we go. So I don't think Cannon's <laughs> meaning to come in. Cannon, are you meaning to come back in to perform more? Is that Everly? Oh, wait. Yeah. There we go. Great. Okay, if you could lift the camera up a bit so we could see Everly's face and the keys. It's okay. We're gonna we're gonna keep it here if that's okay, just for the charging cord so we don't die on y'all. Okay. Everly, <laughs> you wanna stick your head in there and say hi? Wait. Okay, we got a got the fingers. It's okay. It's okay. Everly, what would you what are you gonna play for us today? Uh classic dance. All right, let's have it. a good opportunity for a spontaneous dance sesh yeah anything you want to tell your fans Ever. Well, anything you want to tell your fans no Merry Christmas. <laughs> all right well wave wave goodbye thank you so much for coming in and performing great job Bye. <laughs> that was cool Got a report from the green room. They are uh, they have it sorted out. This the link is asking for a password, so we're hooking all the students up with the uh, the password so that they can get in here. So hopefully we should have some some students pop in momentarily, James. All right, great. In the meantime, I'm going to go back to our slideshow and talk about some releases that are coming out of Band Aid School of Music in 2020. Let's see if we can get to that. So Casey Campos. Uh, released in the dark and you can watch that on the band-aid school of music youtube channel casey is on instagram at casey underscore never give in okay, so, uh, it is and that's a cool project i worked with casey and we were writing songs that he's uh, coming up with the lyrics or a good portion of the lyrics and the concepts and the ideas and then i'll write music to fit his concept and um, um we have, yeah we're creating uh, some pr really cool stuff so in the dark somebody just is uh, one of his releases from 2020 that you can check out we, got, we haven't seen it we also have yet. a new release from baxter low baxter is just one of my favorite people on planet earth and he's got his first record release he's got 28 songs called end of the wood baxter is also uh MC for Live at the Pink Stage at Band-Aid School of Music. So he's 
got a great personality and um, I, I think you're going to want to check this out. I love the music. It's, I would call it classical pop. 28 songs. Mm -hmm. 28 wow. Songs. I know. I'm excited. I'm Definitely. looking that up right now. Right. Um, it's on iTunes. Jimmy Mercado is a student who's been with us for six or six and a half, seven years. Jimmy started when he was 10 with us as just a monster drummer as a 10 year old who would never stop playing drums. And now he never stops making music. So he's in a number of projects. This is his solo project called New Fate. Um, Jimmy produces other bands. He produces his own music. He's got a studio at home that he and his dad built and uh, he's doing it. So I would check out Jimmy and stay posted on what he's doing. You can follow him on Instagram at DJ Spooky Jimmy. And his band, Professor Ray from the Fables, also it, have released two recordings this year on their own. They worked with Andy for two, two and a half years, correct, Andy? That's about right. Andy showed him a great deal about writing music and producing music and stage presence and um, how, how to solo as a band, how to jam as a band. I can't take credit for stage presence. Will's, Will had that dialed in all on his own. Will's got, he's an extraordinary front man. There's no doubt about it. Um, I just kind of got out of the way and, and removed as many obstacles. So, you know, really it was, it was less about, you know, showing him how to, how to jam on stage and more about, all right, run your cables around the edge so that Will doesn't trip over them. All important stuff, is, right? Yeah. Very important. Yeah. I know his mom would appreciate that too. Cause I remember she was telling me one as he was jumping off the stage at, um, what was the name of the festival out in the country? We all, went? Oh, Utopia Fest. Yeah. Utopia Fest. He was jumping off that stage. It was about, I don't know, seven feet off the ground. I have a mini heart attack sometimes when I watch him perform, but he's always fine. <laughs> it's always good. Adds, adds to the thrill. His or his foot or something. She was like, no, but, you know, uh, he kills it. He brings the energy. Mm -hmm, I miss sure. watching those kids. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Great. Uh, and then, uh, oh, there we go. Bethany hey. Harden herself, Lady Chops and the mm, Jam with <laughs> Nick Manka and All Be All. You can find their latest release on all the streaming services, right? You want to tell us anything about this record? Well, this song is really special. Um, you kind of have to listen to the words uh, to get the idea, but it's it's kind of, I always um, introduce it as a an emotion towards injustice. So um, yeah, it's, it's super special. It's one of the first songs that we as a band started rehearsing together. So it's been a long time coming. It's a really good one. And our buddy Justin Winslow uh, produced it for us, so we're grateful to him. Oh, man. It's so cool. Well, we've got Harry Osborne coming in, connecting to audio now. How you doing, Harry? Hey, Harry. <laughs> got a mouthful of something. Caught you in the middle of a pregame snack, huh? <laughs> okay, I think we've got a pre-recorded video. So. Okay. That's right. That's all and I like your cozy vibe you've got going on there, under the blanket. Mm -hmm. Just chilling. Are you going to introduce this song for us? Or I could be wrong. I actually, I don't see a pre-recorded video. Are you going to be performing stream. live? Stream. I have the video, Andy. Oh, you do? Okay, there we go. Mm -hmm. Good. I was panicking there for a moment. <laughs> so, yeah, what's this song called, Harry? Dream. Dream? All right. Dream. Stream. Oh, stream. stream. Okay, great. So also just a little background, Harry is my guitar student and Jeff's piano student. Um, unfortunately, we had a guitar mishap, so no guitar performance this time, but really looking forward to it when we, we can hear you playing guitar again. Um, but without further ado, and if it's okay with you, I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen and show this piano song. Wait, so do I only, so after we play this song, will I leave the meeting? Yep. Well, hang, on, hang on a second, Harry, we'll talk about it once we get the stream. <laughs> All right, let me go ahead and share. Yeah. 
hands. All right, here we go. One, go. job i was feeling very zen watching that do you know what that means zen yeah it looked like you were in the zone so maybe you were feeling a little bit zen while you were playing it uh, okay sure <laughs> <laughs> so uh, tell us about the your your choice for that song was it something that jeff suggested or were you like yeah jeff uh -huh. Uh, something that Jeff suggested. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And how is it, how is it um, challenging you as a piano player? What um, are the few things you have to learn? I know, that's a thought-provoking question. Why do you like playing this song? What? Why do you like playing that song? Um, uh, Jeff just picked it out for me. Okay. What do you like about it? Um, that it has a good rhythm. Rhythm. All right. Right on. Well, it's great talking to you, Harry, and thank you for joining us and playing with Band Aid School of Music. Look forward to hearing you again soon. Okay. Good to okay. see you, Harry. Bye. Bye. Okay, we have Merlin's iPhone in the waiting room. Here he comes. All right. Connecting to audio. All right, Merlin, are you there? Yeah, yeah. Yes, oh, I am. Cool. Can you turn your camera, turn your phone yeah. sideways and then turn it back? We need to reorient the, the picture. Wait, this should work. Um... There we go. Yeah. Merlin, are you, it's been a while since I've heard your voice. Are you using like one of those voice encoder things? Or is your voice just that low these days? <laughs> no, nah, yeah, my voice, I guess, got deeper, yeah. <laughs> Didn't recognize you, lean, you there. Lean into the camera so we can see you for a little bit. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> so, Bethany, any questions for Merlin? Yeah, I was going to ask um, how your piano playing has been coming along. I heard that you were writing music after our workshop. So I'm, I'm really curious to hear about how that went. Yeah, um, I, I've been playing and writing a lot of songs lately. Uh, I think I, or my goal was to write five songs in a year. Um, I haven't finished the fifth song, but I'm like on the way to it. Uh, it's been fun. And yeah, I definitely learned some stuff from that workshop that I've been able to implement into my songwriting. That's been fun and it's made it better. Definitely. That's awesome. Um, I don't know yeah. if you realize how, how much that warms a teacher's heart to hear <laughs> that. Um, so I appreciate you saying that. So, so what are you going to be playing today? Uh, it is an original. Um, I haven't really, uh, like, I haven't, I don't have a name for it yet, but um, it's like a classical piece um, that I, yeah, that I wrote. Very good. All right, great. Well, we're ready to hear it. Okay. Thank you. 
Wow, Merlin. That was awesome. I got to say your your composition um is uh your your skills with compositions are really fantastic. Um notable. Um actually that kind of reminded me a little bit of Regina Spector in a way. I don't know if you've ever gotten into Regina Spector but um she's an artist that um she's really good at incorporating like classical elements with kind of a twist um vocally like melodically so i think you should check her out there's this one song called après moi which means after after me i think in french um so you should check it out it's good good stuff highly recommend <laughs> yeah yeah Hey Merlin, could could you do me a favor? The uh, could you turn off your um, AirPods and play some of that again? The audio was just compressed. We really it was, we really couldn't hear the beauty of that. Um, would you do that? Would you just take those off and just play a section of it for us again? I turn them so, off, but I can't hear you. Then. Okay. okay. How's that? Can you hear now? Can you hear us now? Check, check, check. One, two, three. One, two, three. Hello, hello, hello. Hello. You're very can quiet, but I can hear you. Okay, great. Can you just play uh, just any section that you'd like to play of that because it, it's worthy of listening to with, with proper audio? Okay. So, in Merlin, that, that I get this like vision of uh, that's that's the music that I would want playing, just you know, out of nowhere, were I about to set sail on a really dangerous mission that everybody's about to tell me that is just a suicide mission. I'm never gonna find the lost city of gold. It's not gonna happen, but I'm convinced because I've got my grandfather's like treasure map, and I'm going for it anyways. And you know, to heck with what everybody else is telling me. Like that's. That's what I, you know, feel like I should be doing while that song yeah. is, is playing is playing back. You should. I don't know if you have this this in mind, but you know, think about like writing some scores for video games or movies or shows and things like that. Like that's yeah, that's really cool. That's actually usually where I how I write my music. Oh, I good. like I kind of write something and then like I think of a story in my mind mm -hmm. and with that story I kind of play what would be in that story. Yeah. So how close and was like, I on or on my for my story? Um I mean <laughs> I don't it was kind of like I don't know like it can be different for everyone but you were yeah, yeah. you were pretty close it was like okay. it was like that. Nice. In a way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> cool stuff, man. Really cool stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Thanks for sharing that with us, Merlin. Thanks for playing, Merlin. Anything you want to say to your fans before you sign up? Uh, <laughs> I, I guess thanks for watching. I guess. I don't really know. <laughs> Click the sub below. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, man. Thank you so much. We'll see you soon. All right. Thank you. All right. I'm going to bring in Elliot S. Oh, Elliot's my student. All right. We've got a bid for Elliot. Hey, Elliot. How you doing, buddy? 
I was having a little trouble getting on. Well, you're here now. Yeah, I, 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 I don't, I, I you, so you, so can you get the video up? Mm-hmm. We're going to watch it, but we're going to ask you a couple of questions first. Is that, is that okay with you? Thank you. Let me change my name. <laughs> I don't like this, the name I have. I prefer Elliot Arnold, Steve. But I'm I'm doing it right now, so you don't need to worry about changing. <laughs> Thanks for taking care of that for us. We appreciate it. So Elliot has been my guitar student for about a year, and I remember this because you gave me a Christmas present last year, and I think you remember all of the details of that. So yeah, I got, what, what did you I, got I, I got sick and I. I threw off that day. Oh yeah, that's right. And then when we got home, I was in bed, but that was, but I didn't throw up. <laughs> I think you just had a little bit of nerves because it was one of your first lessons. So it's all yeah. good it's behind us. But what did you give me for for my Christmas present last year? It was cookies. I get and the chocolate logs are my favorite. We just decorated some last night, but I had them for. Um, dessert today for lunch dessert and um my other dessert. Be it was because well well I I didn't have that many. I had two for this dessert for um lunch dessert, but the reason I had for the other one was because I I just I just um. I, I didn't have that much time because I was I had a, I was doing a Zoom call for my bedtime story. It's like I, it was a it was a Friday Black Friday thing, and it was like um we had won it by we had won it for sixty pounds. Wow! Yeah, and yeah, it was sixty pounds, and that's how much it costed. But then we but we got. We so we, but it was like a bedtime with Miss Anderson. Very cool. Miss Anderson is it's um she's the Becker librarian, and I go to Becker. That's awesome. Okay, so I want you to tell everyone what song you'll be playing. I'm going to have a video of blowing in the wind. As you see, I'm in a tight play space, so I don't have that much room for my guitar. And plus, I don't, I would not like to play it live. So I'm going to have it as a video. Very good. All right. So whenever you're ready, whenever you're ready for us to play the clip, go ahead and say, "Roll the clip." I'm ready. All right. We're gonna roll the clip. Recording from him. A very famous thing that you meet that you're most likely to be familiar with that it was that was sung that it was sung was the March on Washington to Washington D.C. in 1963. As
See you. Uh, nice job, Elliot. Yeah. I've got somebody in the waiting room right now. I'm going to see who it is. Ding dong. We might have one more performer in this showcase. Oh, hello, David. <laughs> I don't, I'm not sure that's so far. Maybe David's trying to watch the webcast or something. Hi, David. We're going to drop you out. Hello there. Hi, are you uh, watching or are you, do you have a student with you who's going to be? No, I am watching. Okay, <laughs> go, to, go to YouTube, type in Band-Aid School of Music and the, and the link will pop right up for you. I'm sorry, just a second. Barb? I am not waiting around for him to figure that out. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> so how have you guys been we haven't really had a chance to check in with one another yeah um i'm it's funny i'm still watching the last performance here um i'm good i'm good i think let's take a little breather we it's i'm getting a little tired it's time for a snack for me snack time um so we have now completed uh, let's see, six hours yesterday and four hours today. So that's 10 hours of showcases. So I just want to pat us on the back just for a minute. Okay. Uh, thank you, Andy, for doing all the production and all the video cues and the broadcasting from your studio. My pleasure. And sunny and windy South Austin. Are you hearing some of this wind? Yeah, it's been blowing my, my storm doors. So we're gonna take three and we'll be back at the top of the hour to, um, to start the next showcase. From Bethany and Andy and myself, see you in a minute.
Hey everyone, welcome back to Band-Aid School of Music Showcase. We are in the third block of our showcases or performances today. And we're, we're really happy we're to have- We're in the fifth block of our performances oh. today. <laughs> wow, that just, all right, cool. And we're in the uh, giraffe hat phase of <laughs> showcase. So yeah. <laughs> the delirium anyway. and madness sets in. Mm -hmm. I I just stuffed a macaroni and cheese sandwich half of one in my in my face, so you know. In that three minute break we had. Uh huh. Yep. <laughs> Challenge accepted. Nice work. Yes. Everyone, so back we have Tori Wood with us here. Hi, Tori. We are in Hi. The block. Um, oh, you might want to turn yeah. down. Sorry, I have it on a different. Yeah. <laughs> right. I'll just turn it down. Yeah. Yep, I, I got it off. Cool. <laughs> so um tori for short right yes we figured that out uh, a little while ago um <laughs> so uh, tell us a little bit about your experience at band-aid what do you play what are we gonna listen to sure so um i've been taking vocal lessons uh with jack and uh started up with her around the beginning of the year and um yeah mostly i'm really into like kind of folky stuff. Um, she and I do a little bit more like pop stuff together. So the song I'm singing today is Make You Feel My Love by Adele. Awesome. We're really looking forward to hearing it. Um, and Jack is an awesome vocal teacher. Have, I'm sure that you've been having a great time with her. In yeah, she's amazing. I love her. <laughs> Very cool. All right. Well, without further ado, uh, we should probably play your clip, huh? Yeah, here we go. Nothing that I wouldn't do 
story actually she told us in the uh, the dress rehearsal last weekend that she gave voice ah. lessons to herself as a gift and that's how she got started and then she's just been really getting into it so it's I I love stories like that I love like because there's so much uh just benefit like soul benefit heart benefit mind benefit just well-being health and well-being in performing and playing music uh, so I love little stories like that. I thought I'd share that with everybody. So thanks again, Tori. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, so. we've got Quinn Combs with us now. Hi, Quinn. <laughs> I love your dress, Quinn. So I, I see that you're about to play a piano song for us. Do you like playing piano? Mm-hmm. Nice. And let's see, your teacher is Miss Candy. Is that right? Mm hmm. All right. And let's see, any yes or no questions that I can think of? Uh, <laughs> you go ahead and play your piece. Would you like to play your piece? All right. We're ready. Well done. That was beautiful. Yeah, thank you. Any chance you could tell us the name of that song? I can't hear you. Try one more time. What was that? Little Liza Jane. Ooh, mm -hmm. lovely. Mm -hmm. It's a great rendition. <laughs> so I believe your sister is there with you, right? Is she going to perform something for us too? All right, bring her over. Hey, sister. Oops. This is Tilly. Hey, Tilly. Hey, Tilly. Tilly, what are you going to play for us? Yankee Doodle. Yankee okay. Doodle. Awesome. Take it away. Well done, Tilly. That was wonderful. Did you choose that song? You did? Do you like that song a lot? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, you did a great job. Thank you so much for performing for us. Have a happy holiday. Thank you, guys. Thank Welcome. you. <laughs> What cuties. 
No kidding. So good. <laughs> All right. Who's on deck? Yeah. It, Andy, can you see anybody in the green room? Yes. Um, I'll, uh, I'll send them a message to send some people over. It looks like we've got uh, Bodie, Haskell, Solomon. They're all they're all on deck. I'll uh, I'll have them send some folks over. Now it looks like we got Lily. Ooh, I'm excited about this one. Hey, Lily. Hi. <laughs> hey, Lily. Can you turn your camera and then turn it back? There you go. And now turn it back. There we go. Great. Perfect. All okay. right. So I'm excited about this one, Lily. Um, will you will oh. you tell us a little bit about uh, what we're about to see? Uh. Well. Um. Well, first I'm gonna sing "Never Enough" from The Greatest Showman. Oh, cool! And this, and then I'm gonna play on the piano the song that I made up. I don't have a title for it, uh, but yeah. Cool. Awesome. Yeah. So, should I start? Yeah, yeah. I think I think go ahead. We've I've also got a video for you singing X's and O's. Gonna do them both. Sorry. Yeah, we'll do uh, we'll, we'll do all of it. Um, X's and O's too. Oh yeah, I forgot about. Yeah. Okay, I didn't <laughs> know when I was doing that, but. Mm -hmm. Cool. Okay. Yeah. Uh, maybe. Which do you want to do video? first? Um, video. You wanna do the video? Okay. Okay. Cool. Well, let's go ahead and roll that. Will you uh, maybe tell us a little bit about um, again, what, like what we're what we're about to see in the video. Because it's more um, than well, just you singing. Me, me and Charlie, um, mm -hmm. while well, we were in a band, kind of, um, like over Zoom, mm -hmm. and we were called Seven. I mean Eight, and um, Jack, um, our teacher, and then, um, we did a harmony in this song. So yeah, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. very cool. I was singing the high part. Yeah, it's it's a great and we actually so since you've seen this video, because um, I think you saw yeah. it for the performance class, I've added in the videos of the staff band who was playing in the background. So we'll be able to see you and Charlie and uh, James, our fearless leader, is playing bass. You'll see me playing guitar, and I believe it's uh, Eric Lyde playing drums. So you'll see that I put them up at the very top. So y'all are still nice and big, and in the center. I understand there's a story behind the name of this band, something like that. Oh yeah so we um so we couldn't one day we were just we were um like singing a song like for each other or um and we couldn't decide who would go first so we did um like one of those number things like one through ten pick a number between them. and um I, I think me either me or charlie said seven i mean eight and then somebody just blurted out that that should be our band name because we were trying to also at that time we were trying to figure out a band name so mm -hmm. yeah that's cool yeah that's right. cool i'm excited let's yeah. hear it all right here we go <laughs> They always want 
to hang, but they never want to leave. But it's here, and then they You had some moves in there. Thank you. Okay, so you have a couple more songs that you want to share with us. Yes. Um, so this song is from the Greatest Showman on Earth. Is that right? Um, it's the great. It's just the Greatest Showman. Oh, okay. Not just on Earth, just the Greatest Showman. Period. That makes it just galaxy wide. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Perpetuity in perpetuity is that's how it said. <laughs> All known universes. That's that's the part you're you're looking for. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Well, whenever you're ready, let's hear it. Okay. Three and.
was so pretty. Thank you. Good job. Thank you. Okay, so we have one more, right? From you? Yes. Do we um, have time yeah. for one more? Yes. Can I move rooms really quick? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. So, uh, it looks okay. A lot of passion in her voice for her age. Really pretty. Yes. Okay, so if I'm not mistaken, I think that this song is an original maybe that she's working on, but we'll find out in a second. I'm curious about I think they're working it out. I'm curious about the uh, she and Charlie Eubanks getting together to do that that last one. How that came about. Um. So this is the song that I wrote. Um. I I don't have a name for it. So. Okay. Right. Take it away. Okay. That was beautiful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can't wait to hear the band developments on that one. Mm -hmm. So I, yeah, while you were changing rooms, I looked up. So you, you and Charlie were in the uh, vocal class with uh, with Jack. Yeah, that's how you all got together yeah. in that video. Yeah. Were you friends before you joined the class together? Mm, no. Cool. I love it when that kind of thing happens. You make friends in a at Band Aid. Do you go to the same school at all? Um, no, I don't. We don't. So good. So this is your way to meet. That's super cool. Um, yeah, love that. Love that. Um, thanks so much for sharing that with us. I can't wait until you get into a band at Band Aid. You got so much musicality. Um, are you enjoying it? Yes. Yeah. Great. Well, happy holidays. Thank you. We'll see you soon. Bye, Lily. Bye. <laughs> All right. I've got Haskell coming in. That is a video as well, Andy. Yep. Got it queued up. Cool. Hello. Hi. How's it going, Haskell? Good. Good. Looks like you got your guitar ready. Mm -hmm. So tell us um, who your teacher is. Andrew. Andrew, okay, great. And uh, maybe tell us the name of the song. Wish You Were Here by Pink Floyd. Uh, nice. I'm super cool. excited. How long have you been taking lessons? Six months. 
All right, sweet. So you got a little bit of time under your belt. Mm -hmm. All right, well, yeah. whenever you're ready. We've, we've, we've got a pre-recorded video too. Are you, are you wanting to play it live? Live, live. Okay. All right. All right, sweet. Pretty cool. Awesome job. Great work. That was really wonderful. Oh, man, I love that song, too. How did that feel, Haskell? Good. Yeah, nice. Thanks for sharing that with us. Yeah, we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye-bye. Okay, we got Solomon coming in. Oh, this might be uh, it's a brother parents or brother. Yeah. Oh, you can you can unmute yourself, buddy. Huh? There's Solomon. Hey, I'm sitting in that chair. <laughs> How you doing? Good. Good. So mm -hmm. I see you're sitting at a piano. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, how long have you been taking lessons, do you know? Mm, I don't know right now. It's at least a month. Okay, a month. Um, All right. I've been taking lessons since the beginning of the summer. Oh, that's that's so long. Right, a, a few <laughs> months then. It's weird, like time kind of all melds together during this whole quarantining time, doesn't it? Hard to tell. Yeah. <laughs> Cool. So if well, you guys could turn down your, if you're hearing the live stream, I don't know where that's coming from, but we need to turn that down because it's all right. over there. I don't, wait, wait, what, are you, what were you saying for my dad to like not do that? What? Yeah, turn that down. Turn that down. So yeah, you have to turn it down. Performance. <laughs> Solomon, are you ready to play us your piece? Uh, I, I think I think I already pl uh, sent you a song. We sent okay. you a song. Maybe this is the video that we we thought we had queued up for your brother. Mm, I've definitely it's definitely Haskell in the in the video. I didn't get an email from Solomon. Let me see here. It would be from me. Yeah, it would be from my dad. But okay. Mm -hmm. Let's see here. If worse comes to worse, would you play it live for us? Uh, I'll send it again too. My uh, dad's going. Yeah, it's the the trouble is I don't have a way to add it in. Let me try this. I can forward this to James, and then can you share this, James? Can you share your screen? Yeah, I can do that. Right, I'm sending it to uh, your reconnect. Email. Okay, that'll be faster. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. good. We have the technology. Gonna, do they have the, the video? Yeah, yes. Did it, did yeah, we're going to pull it up in just a moment. Here we go. Okay, and 
me share my screen with the computer sound. All right, let's try this. You see it okay? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. All right, here we go. that song was called 2020 theme song how did you come up with that your dad did <laughs> <laughs> good one dad yeah. mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> choice too with the sounds that was mm -hmm. cool so classical i liked it a lot yeah it's the, it's the hearts cloud insurance they all together very cool i have other songs in store though Ooh. Oh, good, good. Well, we look forward to hearing them, Solomon. Thanks for joining us. Happy holidays. Bye. 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 So I've got Bodhi coming in. That was fun. Hey, Bodhi, can you hear us? Yep, I can hear you. Nice. Bodhi. How's it going? Pretty good. And can you turn on your video so we can see you? I do not have my camera at hand. I believe it is in the living room. Huh. Okay. Let's see. What do we have for you? Do we have a video or something? I don't have a video. No. So you're going to perform uh, without a camera for us? Yes. Okay, cool. Now, Candy says that she's really pleased with how your tone and your ear have improved this semester. So yeah, looking forward to hearing you. What, what are you going to be doing for us? Changes by XXX Tentacion. Mm -hmm. And are you going to be cool. singing this or playing piano? S I will be singing this. Very cool. Well, right, whenever you're right. ready. Yeah. Okay. I just full screen this. Oh, I see what's going on. Cool. Yeah, bring you All right, hold on. Give me a second. Waiting dance. <laughs> what was the waiting room song that we uh, we got earlier today? Oh. <laughs> oh, that's no, the no, no, no. Yeah, that's the classic one. There's um, how did that go? I forget which tune he co-opted. Oh, the oh right. I I thought he just wrote it on the spot. No, well, it was, I mean the maybe the lyrics, but the I can't. There was it was an existing melody. Oh, I can't remember what it was. Yeah. <laughs> Something like that. You have to eat the mic. Oh, hey. hey got there camera. Is. Oh, all right. Oh, that works. All right. Okay, we'll do like that. Uh, we ha we can't hear any of that track. Make sure you are oh, okay, sharing yeah. your uh, your audio. I always forget because I never share anything. Like I, I never share my screen ever. Now you is is you're gonna sing along with this, Bodhi? Yes. Mmm, baby, I don't understand this. You're changing. I can't stand it. My heart can't take this damage And the way I 
feel, can't stand it Mmm, baby, I don't understand this You're changing, I can't stand it My heart can't take this damage And the way I feel, can't stand it Mmm, baby, I don't understand it Girl, you making it hard for me Girl, you making it hard for me Girl, you making it hard for me Mmm, no, no Girl, you making it hard for me Girl, you making it hard for me Girl, you making it hard for me Mmm, baby, I don't understand this You're changing, I can't stand it My heart can't take this damage In the way I feel, can't stand it Mmm, baby, I don't understand this You're changing, I can't stand it My heart can't take this damage In the way I feel, can't stand it Mmm, baby, I don't understand this You're changing, I can't stand it My heart can't take this damage In the way I feel, can't stand it Mmm, baby, I don't understand it. Yeah. Well done, Bodie. Super cool. Thank you. I really enjoyed your performance, and I, I remember hearing you sing last year and being really impressed with the emotion that comes through in your performance. So really, really good job. Mm, thank you. Mm -hmm. My mic is being really weird. It's this thing. It's super old. So I'm sorry about that. It's making noise. That's okay. The performance, okay. Sounded, the performance sounded great. We really, really enjoyed that. Okay. Thank yeah. you. You're welcome. Yeah. All right. Have a wonderful day, everyone, on stream and off stream. Mm -hmm. All right. Goodbye, everyone. Bye. Bye. So that's Bye. it for performers and videos for this hour. Okay, great. Right on. Block five. Done. Joining us and uh, watching, we have one more showcase, one more hour starting at 5 p.m. Central Time. And we're going to take a little breather until then. I might actually decorate some of my Christmas tree. Yeah. <laughs> nice. It's time to get to it. <laughs> uh, so, in the meantime, thank you from Andy Tenberg, our producer, Bethany Harnden. And me, James Mays, we thank you very much for Band-Aid School of Music. Happy holidays. We'll see you at the top of the hour.
Ho, ho, ho. Welcome back, everybody. I'm with my favorite reindeer, Bethany Harnden, and Andy Tenberg, our producer for the Showcase Weekend. Hi, Andy. And we've got Calvin with us today, going to perform a couple of songs. How are you doing, Calvin? Mm, fine. Yeah? Fine. Yeah. Fine. What, what's what's happening? How, how are you doing during this whole COVID uh, quarantine time? Are you? I'm pretty you, good. Yeah? Yeah? What's your go-to? Are you playing a lot of music to, like, make your day happier? Yes. Yeah? Yes. All right. Well, what uh, do you have in store for us today? Mm, song called No Moon Tonight. Book. All right, let's hear no it. Way. was lovely nice yeah, tell us about why you chose that song mm, well i just like the sound mm. and well that's so much a part of it for us musicians isn't it calvin just we just we like the sound of something yeah and, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. difficult to explain what sometimes why we even like it it's just like yeah that's that's cool yeah. Mm. You have a pre-recorded video for us next too, yes? Mm -hmm. Yes. Can you explain what we're about to watch? Mm -hmm. Danny California, red hot chili peppers on drums. Oh. Very nice. And how was it making this? Did you enjoy making this video? Yes, yes. Very enthusiastic. I like it. There's, there's look, look like there's some production happening here too. I'm excited to see it. Are you ready All to right. ready to roll it? Here's what you do as a rock star, Calvin. You say, "Roll the clip." Roll the clip. Papa was a copper and a mama was a hippie 
That was awesome. Crushing it. I and love the, the willy head. Mm -hmm. He's, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I wonder if he puts that on from time to time. It looks like it has eye holes. You play <laughs> play with the willy head on. He's a monster. All right. Well, um, we have with us Ella and Veronica Friedman, who are my voice students. Hey, girls. Hi, Bethany. <laughs> so it looks like you're in motion. Tell us what's up, what's going on? We're on the car to, to see, our, see our grandma who's going to have surgery on her finger. So she needs somebody there to drive, um, to drive her to the hospital and back. Well, that's nice of you guys to visit her. So I'm really glad that you're here um, and that you can say a couple of words before we show your videos. Um, so can you girls tell us each what songs you're going to be singing? I'm going to be singing Show Yourself or, I'm, or, you, or we sent a video. Mm -hmm. I've got them queued up. Which one are we going to show first? Ella's or Veronica's? Uh, Ella's. Okay. Ella's. Uh, uh, uh. I'm singing Show Yourself by Indina Menzel from Frozen 2. Cool. Very cool. I'm, All right. I'm singing High Horse from Casey Musgrave. My Casey Musgrave. Oh, nice. Well, we may, we, we, we will try to hang on to you all during the videos, but because you're traveling, we might lose you, which is totally fine because we've got both these videos queued up. So happy holidays. Happy really holidays, girls. Yeah, be sure to, <laughs> be sure to pull, pull up the stream so that you can watch yourselves play. Mm -hmm. yeah, we, um, yeah, we just connected to the internet. Cool. Nice. All right, we'll be sending your grandmother some good vibes. Mm -hmm. All right, here it is. Every, every inch of me is trembling, but not from the cold. Something is familiar. Like a dream I can reach, not quite hold. I can sense you there, like friend I've always known. I'm arriving, and it feels like I am home. I have always been a fortress, cold secrets deep inside. You have secrets too, but you don't have to hide. Show yourself, lying to meet you. Show yourself, it's your turn. You're the one I've been looking for all of my life. So certain in all my life I've been torn But I'm here for a reason Could it be the reason I was born? I have always been a different Normal rules did not apply Is this the day? Are you the way? I finally find out why Show yourself, no longer trembling. Here I am, oh, I've come so far. You answer I've waited for all of my life. Oh, show yourself, I see who you are. Come 
to me now open your doors don't make me wait one moment more oh come to me now open your doors don't make me wait one moment more the north wind meets the sea My darling homeward bound I am found And know yourself Bend to your powers Grow yourself Into something new Or the one you've been waiting for All of my life Oh, show yourself Oh, I bet you think you're John Wayne. You can move. So in that pursuit and down everybody, you're classic in the wrong way. And we don't know the end of the story, cause everyone knows how to lose the buzz every time they open up their mouth. Cause everyone knows someone Know someone thinks so cooler than everybody else And I think we've seen enough, seen enough No, you ain't never gonna come down Why don't you get up, get up And ride straight out of this town You and your high horse mm -hmm. You and your Let's just think your first place. Don't give you a ribbon and put you in the hall of faith. But all the games that you think that you're winning. Cause everyone knows someone who's the bus every time they open up mouth. Yeah, everyone knows someone who's someone thinks they're cooler than everybody else. And I think we've seen enough, seen enough. Knowing you ain't never gonna come down. So why don't you giddy up, giddy up? And ride straight out of this town, you and your high horse. Mm -hmm. You and your high horse. Mm -hmm. Darling, you take the high roads and I'll take the high road. Mm -hmm. If you're too good for us, you'll be there riding solo. I think we've seen enough, seen enough. Knowing you ain't never gonna come down. So why don't you giddy up, giddy up. And ride straight out of this town. You and your high horse mm -hmm. You and your high horse mm -hmm. High horse mm -hmm. You ain't never gonna come down You may never
are going to come down. Yay! Good job! We just watched the Friedman sisters singing their songs. Well done, girls. And now we're back with Jamie Hines. Hey, Jamie, how are you? I'm great. How are you? I'm great. Thanks. I love your sparkly lights. Oh, thank you. I'm glad you noticed. Oh, I noticed. No <laughs> Hard to miss. <laughs> so I see we um, are looking at some different tracks here. Did you record all of these tracks on your own? I did record them all. Very except, cool. Except the drummer. The drummer came courtesy of Logic and it's some guy named Kyle. Nice. <laughs> Very cool. So tell us a little bit more about, well, who, who's your teacher, first of all? Um, Andy is my teacher. And never heard of him. Never heard of that guy? Yeah. <laughs> He's kind He's of a hack. Rogue. Yeah. <laughs> so, but interestingly, I had been working with Eric Lyde for about a year and a half. And then when he moved on, I, I um, moved over to work with Andy. And I had just started this song. I had like acoustic guitar and vocals with Eric. And so he kind of gave me some ideas and then I recorded everything. And then Andy's been helping me for several weeks to go in and, and mix. And, and I'm just learning a ton about recording and logic that I didn't know before. Right on. That sounds like the perfect next step. And also that transition of teachers is also, it just sounds like the ideal situation. Um, so uh, what song is this? This song is called Stumble, and I have a uh, I have a pile of songs that I've written over the last twenty plus years that I, I my plan is just to record them one at a time. And so this is like a '90s Jamie Hines tune that is finally seeing the light of the light of digital recording. <laughs> awesome. Well, we're really excited to hear it. So, without further ado, if you want to hit play. You got it. Here goes. <laughs> It all. 
Thursday, Friday, slip to Sunday. Now I'm going round again. Something stand to reason. Double That was so cool. I really love that perspective too, of being able to see all of the tracks. Yeah, uh, it kind of gives away what's going to happen, but it's kind of cool. <laughs> it's cool, and uh, you know, for people out there watching who, you know, have never seen what the behind the scenes looks like, you know, that just that's every single track in there. Um, you know, it's a separate instrument. So um, I don't know. I think that's really cool. I, I'm kind of a nerd um, yeah. about that, I guess. But <laughs> thank you so much for sharing that with us. My pleasure. Yeah, thanks, Jamie. I noticed. I noticed that uh, you know, for example, the uh, the string ensemble. You you decided not to use that first chunk starting around measure forty nine. You brought that in kind of in the in the middle of that. You know, sort of in the middle of the song. Yep. Yeah, so it's fun to see that kind of stuff too, how you're layering. Oh yeah, if you want to see uh, the real behind the scenes, there's how much automation is happening. <laughs> <laughs> there's a ton. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's not uncommon. Right? Yeah. Um, okay. Again, I'm learning a lot. It's been fantastic. Mm. That's great. Yeah, it's funny. There are stories about that, like how before this, um, you know, before all this digital automation happened, there are stories about, um, you know, the whole band on the board and you got the assistants and the engineers and, and maybe, you know, maybe even somebody who was just sweeping the floor, like, okay, we need you to move this fader at this time because you're trying to get all of that stuff that's happening now on automation happening, you know, and it was like, it was performing the mix. You had to perform the mix. Wow. That's amazing. Yeah, to get those recordings. So now it's just so great. We just click, 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 move, move, move. Got it. So Jamie, I'm curious, did you have plans on getting into recording before um, COVID happened? It was, uh, COVID was a big um, kick in the pants to do it finally. I've, I've, I've had fits and starts. Like my first was a Fostex four track cassette uh, machine back in like the mid nineties and kind of eh with that and then a early apple thing that never took and garage band once or twice and then when i started uh with band-aid i was like i'm when i found out you guys had a studio so eric and i did a couple of songs and then with covid um i doubled down and i bought a new mac mini and a new interface and uh a new mic and this is what's happening well, I mean, I think it's great that you're doing it. And uh, I, I had a similar thing happen with me. I, I feel like I needed to uh, switch gears and be, like I needed to become interested in the recording process in general. So yeah, it's, it's great. It's great. It, it's fascinating. And it's just like, when you talk to somebody like Andy, you realize that I could do this for the rest of my life and still have plenty to learn. <laughs> I'm in I'm in that same boat though. Funnily enough, I could I could do this for the rest of my life, and I still feel like I'm I'm never gonna know enough. So that doesn't go away, sadly. 
but yeah well <laughs> fortunately i uh i prefer sort of like the lo-fi kind of tune so i can uh i don't have to get perfect <laughs> right yeah well I, I like the uh you know the tripling vocals to get that kind of you know flangy set i still think i've said this before but there's like to me there's a late 60s vibe with the way the vocals i know you're these are songs from the 90s but there's just you know you're probably listening to a lot of those records so I'm in the melody line and the way the way that it's mixed i i just hear that and i i like that you know it's just this vibe this feeling that i get when i listen to those older records well man i grew up with my parents um constantly playing paul simon simon and garfunkel the beatles so that's in my it's in my bones somewhere for sure yeah well, thanks so much for sharing this stuff with us and happy yeah. holidays. You too. You guys have a great yeah. holiday. Thanks, you Jamie. Too. We'll see you later. See you later. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye, Jamie. I'm bringing in Nora. And see when Nora comes in. Nora Billhorn, candy student, age seven. Cool. Hey Nora, it sounds like maybe you've got the uh, the stream on. Now you're muted. Hi. <laughs> I'm Eva. Okay. Oh, you're Eva. Hi, Eva. Uh, okay, hi. I thought Billhorn looked familiar. I've got I've got a video for you, which uh, I'm super excited to share. Um, do you want to tell us a little bit about what you're gonna what the people are gonna see in the video? Um, it's just actually, um, my, um, um, it's my, yeah, you'll need to turn down that live stream. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. Um, the delay can be distracting, huh? So, um, I'm just going to do my. Um, I'm going to be playing a video of me singing Scared to be Lonely with background um, of a band. Um, that awesome. Nice. That's very exciting. Is this your first time um, uh, playing with a band? I guess technically you're not yeah. playing with them, but. <laughs> yeah. Very cool. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, when you're ready for us to roll the clip, just say, roll the clip. Okay. Roll the clip. It was great at the very start. Hands on each other. Couldn't stand to be far apart. The closer, the better. Now we're picking fights and slamming doors. Magnifying all our flaws And I wonder why we do it for Why we keep coming back for more uh, uh. Is it just a bodice Or are we both losing our minds? That's the only reason you're holding me tonight Cause we're scared to be lonely If we need somebody just to feel like we're alright Is the only reason you're holding me tonight Cause we're scared to be lonely Too much time losing track of us Where was the real? Undefined, sparring out of church Forgot how it feels All the Mr. Fights and slamming doors Magnifying all our flaws And I wonder why, wonder what for Why we keep coming back for more uh, uh. Is it just a bodice? Or are we both losing our minds? Is the only reason you're holding me tonight Cause we're scared to be lonely Do we need somebody Just to feel like we're alright Is the only reason you're holding me tonight Cause we're scared to be lonely Maybe 
living on earth Then when we know what's wrong Then somebody better for us all along Tell me how can we keep holding on Holding on tonight We're scared to be lonely Is it just our bodies? Are we both losing our minds? Is the only reason you're holding me tonight? We're scared to be alone. Nice job, Eva. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was cool. Well, hey, 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 we're back, and we are with our friend Everson Smith. How are you, Everson? Uh, really good. I mean, just couldn't wait to get into the room. I was I'm standing there for like um, round up to five minutes, and I'm like, uh, did my computer go wrong or something? What happened? Like. In what's going on here? So nerve wracking. Even yeah, you know, even live show for me is like just sitting in the green room. Sometimes it's like, oh my god, I'm so excited. Oh uh, yeah. Relax here. Yeah, I had some adrenaline oh, kicking yeah. in by the time two thirty rolled around, just like last time. Mm -hmm. We're excited to hear you. What, what do we have? Do we have a video? Or are you gonna play live for us? What's happening? Got a video. Looks like of a uh, of a drum performance. Okay. Oh, I didn't know if it got sent to you, Andy. I mean, I accidentally sure sent it and sent it to like I had your last name spelled wrong. <laughs> oh no! Yeah, no, I got it. I got it, and we're good. Oh, good. Yeah. So, do you want to tell us a little bit about uh, what we're about to see? We're about to see a video of "But It's Better If You Do" by Panic at the Disco. I mean, I really love the music. Like, I really love the um, sound of it, and just, it's really cool how they um, do that bridge. I mean, I will admit that I did get very, very confused during the bridge, so don't be surprised if I'm very off time, but, I mean, I am it's just really cool, and when I heard the uh, three, four parts between the second chorus and the bridge and then the end of the song, it was actually pretty cool. I mean, those time signature changes are really good i mean well, i've seen you play i bet it's going to be in time yeah. no problem ever since performances are always ones that i look forward to as well very yeah. on point like you want to bet five bucks on that timing there buddy i mean um... <laughs> <laughs> almost almost i got five bucks you got five bucks um, <laughs> i bet it's going to be perfect I... I have uh, no idea. Do you want to <laughs> bet on that as well? Oh, don't, even, don't even gamble on me, Andy. That's your lesson. <laughs> Fair <laughs> point. You're always teacher, teaching yeah. me something, Everson. Can't get enough. Oh, you know it. <laughs> always. All right. Are you ready to roll it? Uh, yeah. Wait, All right. Am I gonna have to share my screen, or do you got? I got. I got you covered. All right. All you have to do, Everson, is say, "Roll the clip." Roll the clip, would you? <laughs> now I'm up to the day.
Yeah. Nice. Uh, this is the pet section of the broadcast today. Yeah. Yeah. We've got <laughs> Leo with us and all the pets. Leo, can you introduce your friend to us, please? My dog's name is Aspen. Oh, <laughs> Aspen is, is so cute. cute. <laughs> no sense. Uh, bring all our pets. Yep. In Yep, mine, mine wants down. Mine's, yeah. mine's, had mine's of that. trying to get away too, or <laughs> probably crawl on my keyboard, I'm sure. Right. Yeah, here we go. Anyway, <laughs> so Leo, uh, sounds like we have a video queued up for you, but why don't you tell us a little bit about it? What are we about to see? Uh, me playing the donkey on piano. So the song is called The Donkey? Mm hmm. All right. Sweet. Um, so who's your teacher? Wes. All right, sweet. And how, how do your lessons go? Um, we usually do uh, 30 minutes of drums and then 30 minutes of piano. Oh, that's right. You're in on Mondays because I teach Mia at the same time as you. And she always says, who is that? And I say, that's Leo. <laughs> All right. Well, if you're ready for us to play your song, just say, roll the clip. Roll the clip. Two. Ready? Go. <laughs> I am James Mays, and I'm here with Bethany Harnden and all the lights and reindeer headgear. 
and our producer, Andy Tenberg, the silent type. Uh, and we're bringing on uh, Charlie Eubanks, whose audio is just connecting. We're getting a nice little view of the holiday cheer there. And I see some presents under the tree, too. So, Do you think they're for us? I hope. I mean. <laughs> uh, we've got, uh, so, so we are in our uh, 12th hour of showcases at Band-Aid School of Music for this Winter showcase. There he is. is Charlie. Hey, Charlie, how are you? Hey. Yeah, you got a little. Oh yeah, oh, got it all going on. Excellent. Love the hat. Is that an elf on the shelf on your hat? Um. Well, we were wrapping oh. presents and we had extra gifts. Nice. Extra paper, so I just like took it. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect or we just have the queen of Christmas. All crown. Queen needs a crown. Um, so, so, Charlie, are you listening to the broadcast as well? Are you listening to the, can you turn it down? So it doesn't just, it's not distracting you? Okay, cool. Because we have about um, a 20 second delay. It can be, it can be kind of weird. So we've got a video that you made from the voice class, yeah, with Jack. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and will you tell us a little bit about it? Uh, well, I had a New York background, <laughs> and I love New York, and I was born in it, and I spent a year there, and then I moved to San Antonio. <laughs> And now you're here in Austin. Yeah. Well, not. No. She's taking in lessons Austin. in Austin, right? That's right. You're in yeah. San Antonio. Mm -hmm. I saw. I met you in Austin because you were there for the camp, weren't you? Yes. Mm -hmm. You came to Austin for camp this summer. That's how you began. Yeah. Have you been to summer camp two years in a row, or just was it just this summer? Well. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was. I think. Well, this year, I, well, I took it, I think I took the, this summer, this is my first year of taking it, I would say. Mm -hmm. I took it in the summer and now I'm like taking it now and then I'm going to take it again in January. So. Very cool. Well, tell us a little bit about, about what we're about to see in the video, aside from the New York background. What, what song is it? Are you going to be? What? X's and O's. Mm-hmm. By Elkin. And you're going to be singing it along yes. with Lily, who we saw mm -hmm. earlier in the showcase. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and you and Lily met on, in this class, didn't you? What so was you, that? <laughs> you, formed, you formed a virtual band. Yes. From the voice class, didn't you? How cool is that? <laughs> kind of is. Mm -hmm. Right? I think so too. All right, well, um, in order to roll the clip, we only need one thing from you, and that is for you to say, roll the clip. Okay, roll the clip. <laughs> Oh, 
such a good job i yeah i'm just loving all the creativity with what went into that and that bass player i have to say amazing <laughs> <laughs> totally totally yeah so good so that concludes our 12 hours of showcases for this winter showcase 2020 <laughs> Quarantine year, 2020, the worst year. <laughs> Definitely, hands down, the worst year of our lives. I'm not sure if it's the worst year ever, but we will be very happy to have 2020 come to a close. And we just want to say thank you, everybody, for adapting and making this year musically special by getting online and just being creative and keeping the beauty of making music alive. From myself, James Mays, Bethany Harnden, and Andy Tenberg, and the rest of the Band-Aid School of Music family, happy holidays. Be safe, and we love you, and we'll see you soon. Bye.